The previous session was an exploration through the woods of Oakwood. We ventured into various areas, including finding treasure that may or may not have been treasure, depending on how you look at it, and having two conversations with an elderly hermit who gave you little quests and surprising rewards based on what you needed to retrieve. In one case, you retrieved a giant acorn, and in another, a wooden log. So we did that. We got some reward. People were happy. There was some disappointment regarding hunting a dinosaur, which thankfully no one actually tried to do. Because if you had, I'm fairly certain the campaign would have been, in, been over. <laughs> we would have just ended. And now, after exploring the woods, we are back at the Tavern of Oakwood. Um, as a point, by the way, I know Spoon won't be here. For sure. Rip. He will. He is currently packing. He's leaving this evening back to school. So he, he told me that he wasn't going to be here. And maybe Mason will be here. We'll see. Um, so, at this point, there was a vote in Discord. And those of you that didn't choose the Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, we are actually going to do the Severus mission. Tyrannosaurus Rex, folks, unfortunately, I'm going to have to reduce your experience. Cool. Man, very if tragic. If we got the T-Rex, we would have increased our experience. I, Yo, no, true. no, not the correct answer. <laughs> we tamed it. So, but seriously though, you're at the end. To travel to the Severus mission that was provided to you by uh, Severus, the, um, you need to travel south, and then you'll have to travel west, uh, past Stone Valley. So you'll be returning to Stone Valley. Um, the travel will take you about if you're trying to be safe, it will take you three days to get to Stone Valley. It will then take an additional day and a half to get to the port. So the port is called Port Cadence. Um, you, you should be able to uh, see the box that I've created on the very left-hand side of this map. If you can't see it, I suggest prescribing eyeglasses. Um, okay, so we are back in Oakwood, and you are all at the tavern. It is morning. Uh, everyone is well rested. I don't think there were any problems. So now it is all up to you to decide, you know, do you wish to quickly go by the store and grab some items, perhaps uh, for, for the travel back? And additionally, when you would like to actually travel. You are traveling southwest. Again, I told you it's going to probably take you four and a half days total, um, depending on how fast you want to travel. And if you make certain stops along the way. So, scene starts. I'll uh, be in the tavern room, ready to go. Okay. So, um, Serox is just, he seems to be packed and ready. Um, as a reminder, one of your tents was destroyed. So, I, don't, I think I saw three. Now there are two. You have two tents remaining. You could go to the store and buy another tent. And doing so would cost you, like, a couple gold. Depending on how nice you want the tent to be. Alright. Um, Pahanan is also in the tavern. His door is locked. He's polishing the shell. Uh, someone could take that the wrong way, but we all know what that means. So I know where Pahannon is. He's just waiting to get the go-ahead to start traveling. Um, everybody else, I unless you tell me otherwise, I'm just going to say you're going to you're ready to travel. Um, however, as I've stated, Give me one second. Yeah, no, 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 you're, no worries. You're down a Are tent. You running water. Try. Yeah, if, I had to go use. If the you're in the bath, God. Day. Oh my God! It's Jack. Oh, oh I was again. about to say, please oh. don't bring your headset microphone into the bathroom, but it's too late. It's already happened. Um, okay, hey, well, I had it muted when I was using the bathroom. And I appreciate that. that so the sink. I washed my hands. Good. Very good. You. But he, you heard the water. You heard it. Nobody washes their hands anymore. Hectic, I'm concerned. And I'm actually disturbed <laughs> now. I'm very oh, disturbed. <laughs> um, 
Okay, who is not just like waiting to start traveling? I, I need to know. Okay, so Elner is going to go uh, to like the edge of the woods, like just a little bit off uh, where the trees start. Okay. And offer the uh, stuff I stole from the shrine to Taimora and say like a little prayer. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and make a religion check just for your prayer. You're just off, though, a little bit into the woods, though. You're not too far, right? Yeah, not yeah, too that's far. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. You you leave an offering to your to your patron, which is Taimora, of the goods that you... The things you have stolen from the shrine of Bashaba, the, the goddess who had a shrine in the forest. I, I assume you're just going to leave them? Yeah, just leave uh, them. Yeah, okay. And you just leave them. You find a you find a tree someplace that would 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 sh emulate some kind of shrine, and you leave. Uh, you don't feel like Timora has um, has connected with you as you made your offering as of yet. But you're hopeful that your offering was received. All right, that's it. I'm done. Okay. Anybody else doing anything besides just getting ready to travel? Uh, as a reminder, I see Masons in the in the voice. Um, we're we're traveling southwest to to the port because that was the vote. Uh, it's a four and a half day journey. Uh, right now, we're just figuring out if folks are going to shop really quickly before traveling or doing other things. Jump wants to buy some more arrows. Okay, sure. I, I checked the shop catalog. I just want to let you know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine. Uh, there there are there are ample arrows to be purchased at the general store. Okay. I'm not hearing anybody else, so I'm going to assume travel. So, let me return us back to the map. And you feel free to cut me off if you actually did want to do something. Um, so, as a reminder, we're up in Oakwood, which is just directly north of this particular map. We need to travel south. Um, you're welcome to travel any number of ways across these dotted lines to get to Port Cadence. Um, as a reminder, uh, I described this straight path right down here as the quickest route to where this fork in the road was, where it, it sort of branched off into several different directions. Um, getting to Stone Valley will take you about three days if you're trying to be safe, and travel from Stone Valley to the port will take you an additional day and a half. So the way that this is going to work is I will select a party member as we're traveling to roll a dice. Uh, at first, it's going to be a d6. Um, you will roll this dice based on an additional die that I will be rolling. So every day, I will roll a d20. And if it passes 10 or more, then I will say there will be a random encounter that will take place. Um, the random encounter isn't always a combat. Um, which means we're going to roll four times. So, may or may not get four combats. I, I doubt that, though. So, for the travel, everybody is packed up and ready to go. We leave Oakwood. However, you could actually leave Oakwood in three different directions. Starting off, you could leave more towards the west... There's a path here that goes more towards the west, which I'm drawing with my arrow. There is an additional path that goes more towards the east. It happens to pass through a town near the river. Um, and then finally, there's the path straight down the middle. The path straight down the middle is the fastest. Um, as I've described before. Um, however, there might be the, the straight path here. As I think I've previously stated might elicit more dangers. So it won't straight path. Okay. Straight uh, path. Yeah, I'm all for straight path. I, I just have a question, Otto. Yep. Um this is like a, a question about the world. Yes. Um, do any of us know like how river transport works in this area? Sure. Uh, like is there a lot of boats going around? Is there ferries and stuff? Yes. Is there... it just, like bridges, like 
There are bridges, there are ferry, there are boats for merchant trade, and there are general fishing boats that would go through the river, um, possibly into the lake. Uh, there, there is a river that does flow into the ocean to the west, and actually, the river there's a there's a river south that also does. It flows into a peninsula at the very bottom of the map that you're looking at. Um, yeah, uh, river trade would be would be would be something you'd see. Uh, I. I, I, I dare say you would see some kind of trade every day um, because, due to the fact that these rivers flow through different uh, country. Well, I'm going to call them countries, countries or areas. So they may want to trade into this particular location. And also export would be something that would happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you could consider the lake like the centralized point of all import and export from the from the main capital. Um, port towns and the in the ocean would definitely have boats. For, for various different things. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I still think for this journey, at least, we should stick to the main roads for now. I think we just venture forth in the straight path, gentlemen. Agreed. I yeah, I think, wasn't that the way we came in anyway? Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go back the way we came. Sounds good. I'm hearing no descent currently, so... During your first day of travel, you travel, um, okay, for whatever reason, roll 20, rolled my dice twice. Um, you travel along this straight path. Uh, are you going quickly or more slowly? I'd say, like, probably just, like, a regular pace. Like, we're not trying to get anywhere in a hurry, but we're not, like, moving cautiously, right? Hmm. Okay, we'll call it normal pacing then. Um, assuming that is what people are doing, and yeah, just normal as fuck. Um, casual. I don't recall the people if we had horses or not with this party. I I think somebody God. purchased a horse. Yeah, not I did. Yeah, Melonius did. Did anybody else purchase a did, horse? I think Dodge rented a horse. Erica, did you buy a horse? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think Spoon might have picked one up too. Spoon, okay. I'm almost positive there's two people with horses. Okay. I think you're right, yeah. Okay. That, but for the most part, then that the majority of the party doesn't if it's only two. So, yeah. um, so just keeping that in mind. So you you would be going at a walking pace. Um. So you're you guys are walking, and the people that have horses are just. I mean, you're you're just the horses are walking, and. Um, if a full day were to go by, you would get to this, uh, fork in the road right here. Um, I rolled a die, and your travel goes, uh, undisturbed. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Dab. Now, my question is, you get to the fork in the road. It's getting, to uh, it's getting dark. I won't say it's pitch black. Would you decide... To camp now, or do you want to push on? You could push on for as long as you wish, but keep in mind you need sleep at some point to n avoid exhaustion points. But so like the sun setting, or uh, yes, sun setting. I say yeah, if the sun setting, then we camp. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 uh, Mister Sleeping on a park decision. bench. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Oh yeah, Hannon got to see this part of the trip now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was kind of getting carried the other time. Hmm. All right. Um, I think since we're all voting for it, yeah, we just we camp here. Played smart, all that. Um, assuming that goes by without a hitch, uh, how are we fitting six people into three tents? <laughs> uh, two oh, actually. Two tents. Two tents. Sorry. You have two I tents. I won't go in a tent. I mean, yeah, Sarek doesn't fucking sleep, so. Hold on, I have to smack my cat. Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> hey! Excuse me? That's not nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh god, here we go. Capital Poor thing. Doesn't get fed. Get slapped. Unbelievable. No, this is the one that doesn't oh, eat his cat. Hectic? Please. <laughs> you know. Okay. Please. Then. Break her from scratching molding. 
So then you're camping. Imagine having a cat that scratches things you don't want it to scratch. We're we're camping. Yeah, we're camping. Tactic, really? I am because my cat's so nice. Oh my Except God. for when she bites my fiance. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. She doesn't bite me though. <laughs> as we. Oh, that's a W. As yeah. we. Uh, w. True. Sorry, Otto. Victory for the squad. I was just gonna say, as we camp, I need to know who's keeping watch. I will be. I'll I'll start my shift. Uh, okay. I'll do the beginning shift. Okay. So I've got two people for at least a four-hour shift, if that's the if if that's okay for beginning shift. Um. Spoon says try not to get into too much trouble. And who's taking a... Is anybody going to take a back-end shift? So what I can do is I can do my sentry mode for the first half and then be wide awake for the second. Or wait, how long is my sentry? Let me check. Oh, six hours. Okay. I'll be doing my sentry rest, so I'm like half awake. Okay. I'll I'll do second shift then. Okay. First shift for the first four hours. I need both folks to give perception checks. Perception. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, ten and sixteen are good enough for me. So again, I don't think there's any disturbance. I'm gonna make sure though that there are none for the second part though. Okay, the back, the back end of folks, please roll perception. So I see a 21 and 17. Okay. Elner and Serox. Let me figure out which one we're going to do. Um, which one? I don't know. I will let the higher perception roll roll it. Roll a d6, Elner. Yo, did you hear a dino, dude? Let's go. Uh, no, wait, 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 slash, yeah, slash R, 1D6. Okay. See, I don't know Fiddle. if that's good or bad, because last time I rolled a 20 and it started raining. Okie dokie. One moment. Suddenly the treant's back. He's still really <laughs> pissed. That'd be I, terrifying. I don't know dude. who's in which tent. Um, Arden, I will assume, will want to be in a tent. So Erica and Arden will share the tent together for now. Um, Pahannon's also in that tent. Um, <laughs> Elner, you He's are on all... watch, so I'm going to yeah, make some swaps. So I'm not in a tent. Yep. Yeah. I'm making the appropriate swaps. And Serox, I'm going to put you next to the fire for now, but okay. um, when things happen, you can you can shift as you like. Okay. Once I get this done... I will let you guys know what's happening here. Actually, I'm just going to do something easier. We have to we have to do a better copy and paste job, I think. Doink, doink. People that copy and paste by right clicking make me so upset. There's another one. I just one. want to throw that out there. And since the you world. guys did good perceptions, you'll get a very good indication of how far they are. Okay. How far who are? <laughs> oh, no, uh, more than one. Elner and Serox, you oh, notice in the that? distance oh, yeah. several hyena-like creatures, <laughs> if you know what that <laughs> is, um, are bearing down on your camp, and they're, well, let's do the distance, they're about 45 feet away, and you see them approaching. Wait, so they're coming towards us? Yep. How, what, what is your reaction before things happen? Uh, okay. Uh, I will use uh, this to make my voice loud as shit and Got tell it. everyone to wake up. Done. Um, okay, no, no checks needed. Uh, everybody, a booming voice wakes you up from your sleep. Elnor, what did you say? Wake up. The creatures are coming. <laughs> They're <Okay>. gnolls. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the fuck these things are. Yeah, Elnor may not know, so he's just going to say creatures. Um so you hear you hear our Elnor yell this and it sounds like a thunderous boom as he says it. Everybody awakens and um 
I'll give you away. I'll give you the opportunity to leave your tent as well. And at this point you're gonna to need to roll initiative because these creatures have their weapons drawn. Chris, are you gonna clap your hands again? Oh, oh yeah, no. <laughs> I'm doing the same exact thing. Wow. Well, this we wow. only have two ten. If you're gonna wake me up like that, man, I'm going to panic and I'm just gonna blast. Oh my god. Did you did you really just this? Oh my god. Stop. Are you actually going to thunder wave the tents yeah. away again? Ah. <laughs> Wait, see, I, I have low initiative, too. Like, I, I was caught real off guard by that scream. I'm freaking out, man. Two nat ones. I don't have to go and, like, babysit Pahannon so it doesn't destroy all of uh, them. And I will, I will play as Arden for this. Okay. Um, I think I have all the initiatives except for Arden, which I'm going to roll right now. He did well. Good job. Okay. Um, wow. The Knolls absolutely carried their initiatives. Pahannon and Melonius. Holy moly. Okay. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, top heavy for the for the enemies. Okay. Arden will go first. I'll do a quick read through of his stuff. He's got Vicious Mockery and a Light Crossbow, and I imagine he'll use Vicious Mockery. He'll use Vicious Mockery on the creature in the bottom right corner. He will roll that there. Okay. Um, the creature will make a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, I see and it failed! It failed! It takes one Psychic... <laughs> damage and um it will have disadvantage on its next attack are bards supposed to be good in D? &D? Just, uh... yeah actually they are bards are pretty good i think bards can be very flexible and they like they can get some nice like light healing they can take some pretty like decent damage um and they have bardic inspiration which is really nice and i'm gonna use that so bardic inspiration will be going out uh for pahannon Arden sings a lovely tune for you. He says, Please don't blow our tent away. Instead, destroy these enemies for me. And you're inspired with Bardic Inspiration. I trust I've been muted for like the last like 10 minutes. Oh, no. I was wondering what you were talking about. Yeah, we were. Yes, I do have a horse. Nice, man. Please don't destroy my tent again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Spoon was saying it too. There's some decent stuff. Like, bards are pretty flexible. And that, that can be really nice. Free thing is the thing. Yeah. They can steal, they get, yeah, they get access I, to spells from every class. I'm sure bards are it's very like nice. I just feel like every time uh, Spoon uses... His, he rolled for stats he really poorly. Really Spoon is just pretty yeah. bad, too. His stats are bad. Yeah, That's also part of it. Bad rolls. Um, by the way, Serox, it's your turn. My turn. Okay. Um, measured this out, but I'll do it again. So can I make it to, like, about there? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll go there and I'll attack him with my halberd. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, that misses. You All just right. swing into air. Um. I don't think I can attack again. I don't remember when I get my second attack. You probably won't get extra attack till five. Yeah, alright, I'm done. Okay. Uh, Noel, next to you, Serox. Um... Okay, it's going to hold its spear with two hands. And go right here. And attack you with it. I imagine a 12 misses you, so yep. we'll move on. Um, this one pulls out a longbow and fires at a Jub. Die. I imagine a 10 misses you. Yeah. Uh, this one in the far corner will go at speed, which is going to be, in this case, the 29. Um, since it can't reach anybody, it will take a spear... It's spear that it has, and throw it at Erica. So it throws a spear at you. Does a 17 hit you, Erica? 
Uh, you know, as a rogue, I have a really high armor class of 14, so I don't think so. You take six piercing damage from the thrown spear, That's and it, a lot. its thrown spear is on the ground next to you. Throw it back. Ow. No. Jub. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna return fire at the guy who shot at me. Sure thing. Uh, so I click on. Click on your thing. bow. Mm -hmm. That thing. That hits for sure. And then I click this thing. Mm hmm. Oh wow! Big hit. Nice. Pew. Jesus, dude, we're getting carried by Joe. Uh, okay. You pull back your arrow from your bow, and it shoots towards the creature, hitting it right into the shoulder. And then uh, Jub thinks to himself, I'm a better shot than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Reminder, your bird does a little happy dance. Let's see here. Yes. So he can go up to roughly here. Right. Oh, he can go five more. Um, this one's going to throw its spear at you, Elner. I imagine an eight misses you. Yeah, yeah, an eight misses. It throws its spear, and its spear falls right in front of you. Erica. Erica, you may be muted again. I'm here. Okay. I uh, was thinking. I am going to go up to the knoll that uh, threw a spear at me very rudely. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to stab him twice. Sure. My short swords. Okay. Wow. Great hit. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Holy <laughs> shit. Alright, I think hey, I can do, I, do I need to roll damage? damage? You, you do still need to roll damage. Because I it oh. it could survive. One of them has oh sneak attack. That's oh. one, of them. one does 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then the second strike does another five. So twenty four. That would be twenty four and it's dead. <laughs> I was really, really upset with that. I, I assume I you're trying to woke up. Yikes, holy crap. Erica is not a good like I don't like being woken up in the middle of my sleep. I was really upset by that to begin with. And now I get a spear on my shoulder, like, come on. Um No, I'm going back to bed after this. Yeah, <laughs> you a flurry of blows ensues and the 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 creature falls. Um I assume you're trying to kill it. If you're not, you can say unconscious, but I assume you're killing it. We'll go with the yes. Um, okay. That was, okay. I rolled too well to not kill it. Holy crap. <laughs> let, holy me, holy. let me go ahead and get rid of that guy. Um, okay. Anything else? No, I think, I think I'm think i I'm going to kind of like duck behind this tent here. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one has vicious mockery on it. It's still going to fire a bow at Arden. But this will be disadvantage. And it misses its bow shot, and I believe that will take that away, and end its turn. Elner, there's a spear in front of you, and there's an old a little bit further ahead. I will go here, and I will inflict wounds on this null. Okay. Wow, uh, that hits. Well, this is like a, on that. Oh, uh, click yeah, the inflict wounds. Level one. Nine. Holy crap, that's a good what? roll. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a really good roll. Okay. Dang. It's critical. You you touch the creature with your magically imbued imbued hand, and uh, the creature howls in pain. You you've done significant damage to it. I try my wash his hands, but Elner didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A sorry, anything else, Elner, besides that? Oh, no, that's... Okay. Uh, Melonius, your turn. Um... Well... Hold on. Perfect. Hello, bud. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna smack it with my quarterstaff. Okay. Uh, 11 misses, unfortunately. Well, I'm gonna unarm strike it. Uh, 13 misses, unfortunately. Fuck me. 
Yeah, that's it, I okay. guess. <laughs> Pahannon, you have Bardic Inspiration, and it is your turn. Please don't forget you have that. <laughs> Hard to Pe people, me down. To be fair, people forget. People forget it. It's very good. Don't forget you have it. All right, yeah. I'm going to step out, calm down. Um, I'm going to blast a ray of frost at the knoll next to Melonius, and I'm going to add the extra d6 to that. Uh, which add the D? Well, are you gonna add the D six to it? Uh, I think I'm good. I, I'm betting sixteen hits. I think it rolled fourteen and sixteen. Um, oh, did I? I see oh, both. I uh, usually I take the first one. Um, yeah, I'm, ro I'm rolling the D six. Okay. My character sheet. Okay, so that would be a seventeen. Uh, seventeen does hit. Woo. Okay. For three cold damage, and I believe it reduces by ten. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Sounds like you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't hear anything. So, um, Arden sees the the creature next to Elner is looking like it's on its last legs. He's going to pull out a light crossbow and shoot it at the knoll. A sixteen does in fact hit the creature. Three piercing damage is just enough to kill it. What a shot. Um, and let's see here. What spells do you have? Um, Erica, you did get hurt a little bit, but I imagine once you guys finish the long rest, you'll get your health anyway. So he will stay his healing words for now. Yeah, I'm just bleeding. It's fine. Serox, go ahead. Take another swing at him. Mm-hmm. You can try. <laughs> uh, no. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm done. Okay, this guy is going to swing right back with a spear held with two hands. Uh, I think a 15 misses you. Uh, this guy next to Melonius is slowed, but Melonius is right in front, so he's just gonna... He's gonna bite you, Melonius. Or at least try to. You can try. I imagine a 12 misses you. Uh, it does. Mm-hmm. This guy's dead. A uh, Jub! Uh, okay, well, the one I was hitting, uh, Melonius, I'm sure he can handle it. So I'm gonna scooch over here. And take a shot at the guy in the corner over here. Sure thing. Go ahead. Oh my god. Okay, oh. yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. Damage. Oh, okay. Okay, Jeb. Take it easy. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Same description <laughs> as the game before. You fire an arrow right into its shoulder. Well, bam. That's it. Gerald shakes his booty. <laughs> yeah, he does. Make sure I have... Did I delete? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, Erica, it's your turn. Hmm. There's a lot of gnolls still left on this board. I'm not very happy with them right now. Uh, as noted. Uh, how far can I throw these things? Let me see. I think it's 60 feet max range. Okay. Hmm. I think... How far can these guys move? Have I got an idea of that yet? Probably about um, 60 feet, though. Base, base movement? Well, they moved about 30 feet, by your guess, on just normal move movement. Out here? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the ranges, what is this, like, 20, 60? Am I at disadvantage if I throw it at 60? Yes. If you try and throw it sure. past, past 20, 20, you get okay. disadvantage, up to 60. I was here. Hang on. I do some math then real quick. The numbers are floating uh, above Erica's head. She's calculating. You see the the guy from uh what you call it, uh hangover. Yep. All the As calculations. He's how, to, how to do uh that shit. All the calculations. That looks twenty two. Damn. It's got a bow. It's gonna it can hit you unless you're behind some kind of cover. Which there's not yeah. much in this area. Well I only have thirty five feet is the thing, so like that's twenty. I move like 
here-ish. Yeah, that's fine. And then just throw two daggers at him from that far. I guess. I, I, I mean, I suppose, yeah. I plan on doing that, so. You could. Could. Uh, a 22 hits, the 10 does not. Okay. Don't get sneak attack. Definitely knows I'm here. But it's 7 damage. Okay. Uh, there's a dagger that goes into the other shoulder. Oh, he's not going to like that. Okay, that's all I can do. At okay. least he won't be able to act soon. He's acting he's right now. Neither will I. It's and a problem. he attempts to bite you. I imagine a six misses you. It rolled a six and a nine. Nice. It does. I, nice. I dodged both of that. Nice. Uh, Elner. <laughs> oh. Uh, hold on. Uh, oh, I can't even make that. All right. Uh, I'm gonna run my little halfling legs mm -hmm. over here. I think I can make that. Is that 50 feet? Yeah. And uh, and call it a day. Okay. Xerox, please hit it this time. I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, Melonius. Also, I think this slow goes away. If I can roll above a 10. Come on. That's uh, it. I mean, someone's gotta roll for spoon today there's two of us that was the problem Bah Bahannon oh, right. Bahannon uh, more Rays of Frost to help out my boy Melonius that does hit Ooh. okay cool that was just give me back my luck there <laughs> okay no <laughs> Any, anything else Bahannon um yeah his, his movement speed's reduced by 15 rather than 10 this turn but otherwise no it'll be it okay Get the boot back. And he's he's probably not going to move. Arden! Uh, Erica, you're the, the creature that's in front of you looks pretty weak. Arden's going to try and finish it off for you. Viciously mock it. With... Oh, I didn't even know that Arden had fairy fire. Ooh. He's fairy fire this whole time? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, light crossbow. No! Therox, you have advantage if you attack. I do. You could do it. I mm -hmm. might not attack, but I probably should. 20, there we go. 20 hits. <laughs> Fucking finally. Uh, uh, well, you know... Uh, I'm gonna re-roll that too. 7. Can you re-roll 2s? I can, I have great weapon fire. Okay. I thought it was only like ones or something. Okay. Nope, just ones and twos. Okay. Sounds good. But you take the second result no matter what I think is the deal. Um yep. okay. You hit it with your halberd. Um it tried to block you, but this time was unsuccessful, so you you slash it across the um across the leg, we'll say. This one right here, with both of you next to it, um, Uh, I'm thinking it bites Elner. Okay. Well, a nat twenty. Not, not again. You Thank take, you, you take, you take six total <laughs> piercing damage. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the snake. <laughs> it's not a snake. That's true. <laughs> um, and that's its turn. Uh, the one next to Melonius will once again try and bite. Um. I imagine a six misses, so we'll go ahead and just move on. Both me and this knoll can do literally it, nothing. It's a it's a little wet noodle fight over here. It's, it's just you know, uh, Jub. Uh, well, you know, might as well finish out my pattern. I'm attack the bottom left one this time. <laughs> okay, good call. Roll about twenty again. If you do, that'd be just like Jub's got all the no, unfortunately. Nope. This time you pull back your bow and it, you you accidentally don't pull back far enough, so it kind of just like limply falls right in front of you. All right, and then I uh, I glance over my shoulder to see if the uh, top left knoll was looking. Uh, it was too it was paying too close attention to Melonius currently. So all right, that's a relief. That's it. <laughs> you're 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 very lucky, Erica. Uh, hi, this knoll is still in my face. I'd like to fix that problem. Sure. 
Uh, a 14 misses and a 14 misses. Motherfuck. <laughs> I can't fix that problem. Uh, so I'm just gonna stay here and deal with what happens next. Well, you're getting bit. <laughs> no, no, no. 13. Oh, that misses. Okay. Woo. Elner. Yeah, I'm pissed at this thing. I'm inflicting wounds again. Oh my gosh. Sure. 16 hits. And it's gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really high damage. That's gone. Okie dokie. 3d10. Yeah, uh, it's dead. Um, would you like to do anything else, Elner? Oh, yeah, I guess I'll... I'll... Hold on, let's see. How far can my little legs go? Not right. far. Not far. They're, they're, they're very small. Okay. And then I'm done. Okay, Melonius, third time's the charm, I think. Oh, apparently not. Oh, that, that, that oh, hits. There we go, there we go. Yay. That hit. <laughs> okay, it's dead. It was just enough. And I want to be. <laughs> and, okay. Anything else before I move to Pahannon? I'll assume no. Okay, Pahannon. Alright, I'm gonna make a finger gun. Okay. Oh, well, that's a pretty strong one. You might finish it off. Oh, no. Remember when mm. this wasn't here and his character actually did damage? Oh, oh god. my god. <laughs> it's I'm like cursing it, them. I'm, here to, I'm here to support. I'm cursing them, man. Pahannon, oh, you see Pahannon produce a snowball in his hand. And he throws it and it hits the knoll kind of on the face. On, you see a small cut produced they, fr from that. There was a little bit of ice in it. Putting rocks in the snowballs. <laughs> Cheating. Oh man, I remember that uh, that oh. race in uh, Eternal. Okay. Light crossbow to the last one. Tragedy strikes. Go ahead, Serox. Mm-hmm. I can get to there, I think it was. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you can make it. I can make it behind him. Or I could try throwing one of my hand axes at him. You try that. I could try that. You haven't done it yet. It'd be at disadvantage. I mean... Come on. I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! An eight! Oh! Aww. Sad face. You thought you had everything right, but at the very last second, the hand axe slipped out of your hand. If you would have been ten feet closer, it would have been beautiful. Jub, there's one There's one left. Uh, I'm gonna do the thing I keep on doing and shoot my bow. Okay. Shoot an arrow. Nope. That's bad. <laughs> You do the same thing as you did before. It just kind of goes. I, I said I would do the same thing. I mm -hmm. just didn't realize. Uh, was, yeah. You didn't think okay, about that. The other guy's dead. Erica, go ahead. Uh, there's no possible way I could miss two more times. <laughs> you, you is what could. Erica's thinking. Okay. Um, there should still be a dagger at him. Can I can I like take that out and stab him again with it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Lucky dig. Hmm. <laughs> Motherfuck. Uh, no. Mm. Good thing I have an offhanded short sword though. That definitely. Is that is a good thing. A seventeen does hit. Three. Three is just enough. <laughs> yeah, we're the best. Eric is safe. <laughs> I had I I only was like sixty percent HP. It's fine, guys. I have a powerful 14 hit points, I'll have you know. Hey, man, I was half. I have 12. <laughs> and I'm a front line. Uh, just, to, <laughs> just to get everything cleared up, uh, each null was 100 experience, so it's five total nulls for 500 experience. And if we divide that by seven, uh, you should get 72 experience amongst you. I'm just rounding up completely. I'm going to go pick up my 
my axe. So everybody uh, okay. add 72 Six, to your current. 72 what? 72 add experience. 72 experience. Oh, cool. Thank uh, you. Correct. Oh, correct. Oh, okay. can we get like 73 experience auto? Mm, um, or is it 669? Yeah, I'll give you the extra one. Okay. Hey! Yo. We what? Nice. Guys, we're getting this one experience at a time. <laughs> I'll give you the extra. I'll give you the I'm bonus. gonna go attempt to locate the dagger that I missed. Oh uh, yeah, you'll f you'll find it eventually. Okay. Uh, we can't play the video game anymore. We won. It's over. All right. Um, let me go ahead and move these these knolls. Uh, as for what you find on them, um, I'm gonna say you find a total. I'm sorry. Uh, you'll find a total of seventy gold pieces. So increase your current total by ten. What was that? Seventy gold pieces total. So if we distribute it evenly, it should be ten a person. I yeah, sorry, I just didn't hear the the gold part. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, let's remove all the turns. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think it's safe to assume that you all rest as normal, and we continue our journey. Unless there's uh, something someone really needs to do. Uh, by the way, the so, second tent was blown away by Pahannon again. Um, you used Thunderwave, you didn't you? Did you not Thunderwave? Okay. No, 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 well, you no, said I thought you did. Okay. Arn sung me a song to chill me out, dude. I, <laughs> I wasn't okay. going to blow it away. Against his will, he cast Thunderwave yeah. after the battle was done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then I'm going to move us back over here just in case. Okay. So you guys... Can I get a short rest uh, after combat? Uh, for this, I, I actually just give you guys the full rest anyway, um, because I do oh, the okay. I just do the combat because we did like this. The combats are so short. I just treat it like it's a long rest anyway. Um, so it's it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, however, if it was like in the middle of your travel, then then no. But you guys were already asleep. I I, I just give it to you. I, I don't really. I'm not really gonna push that. You're not gonna do the uh, the critical roll thing where it's like, oh, we're gonna rest and then, oh, that we're getting an encounter. Yeah, okay, let's try to rest again. Encounter. Yeah. Do that, for, do that for four days. Yeah, we're we're not gonna do that kind of thing where it's like you don't get rest, you don't get your long rest anymore. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so, um, but at this point, you wake up. Uh, I'll assume you wake up fairly early, so we'll say eight thirty a.m. And you are, um, yeah, you can continue your journey. Uh, the next day will take you halfway to Stone Valley if you keep your normal pace. If you were to push it a bit more, you could get, you could get to Stone Valley. However, you're risking, you're risking a, a potential higher difficulty encounter. So you have to make the choice. I don't think we're in any particular rush, are we? I mean, you nope. have plenty of time. I would also just talking is. Give me one sec. Mm -hmm. You're good. I just say we keep on going, boys. I will say that. Onwards. Same Believe speed. Nice the sea chill. calls to me. We must go. Oh no, we're gonna oh, be in a port no. town with Bahannon. Um. He's just gonna like jump in the water. We don't know where to go. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna release his conch back to the nature and find a new one. Find a new god. Oh, that's a great idea. When God gives you shells, find a new god. Godberry, king of the sea. So again, assuming that nobody wants to argue, we're doing normal pace. Um Damn. And we'll we'll get to halfway to Stone Valley. I would like I will roll actually. My GM roll. D20. Have I rolled okay. the most net 20 so far? You've rolled two I like rolled a lot. that have been successful. Serox got one, but this is investigation one too. Um your your travel goes uh, undisturbed. And would you like to camp at at um at the you know at sunset again, or would you like to try and push it? Are we, will we still reach the port? Like, what what's the ET on the port right now? Like, uh, at this point, it would be well if you rest right now. It will be 
an additional two and a half days. Okay. Onwards. You, Where are we at you, in relation to Stone Valley? You are halfway. Oh, okay. So, do we rest? Uh, it's getting to be sundown. Do we rest, or do you want to try and risk um, wa uh, traveling through the night to get there? I mean, either way, we're going to have to like eventually rest like half a day and then take off again. So right now we're like projecting to like get into Port Cadence in like the evening, like two days away. If you were to rest now, just going step by step, let's say you rest for the night, you, you would get to Stone Valley in the evening, you would rest. You would then travel another day, get within, you know, half a day's halfway. distance if you want okay. and then you could rest again so you could like push halfway it away, or like a day away from stone valley at this point yes you were still a day's travel away i would say you're actually more like 12 hours but if you were to rest you would actually you know you could try and push through this and tr like try and travel through the evening however you would not get your long rest you would actually get a point of exhaustion yeah all I of you would we I think we're, wait if we're just gonna rest in stone valley anyways like so I'm just resting now and just getting there tomorrow. And then maybe starting travel tomorrow instead of taking time in Stone Valley. And just keep going and then rest again in the woods. Okay. And then we're about the day after maybe. So we're we're, yeah. we're we're resting? Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. But I know the sea is calling, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Who's like... Do we have somebody in the lead when we're walking on? Like somebody who's at front when we're walking forward? I... I need you. I need you to so, tell me that. Okay. I mean, if I had to guess, it's probably Xerox. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that thing that like little kids sometimes do. Like I'm gonna walk up to Xerox. I'm gonna like tap on his leg to get him to look at me, and I'm just gonna keep pointing forwards and say the sea is calling. We must go. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep doing that for the entire trip. Uh, Xerox, a uh, you you get some taps on your leg from something. Okay. Do you, uh, you, you see Pahannon and Pahannon, are you actually He's saying the pointing. sea is calling or are you just pointing? He's just Vigorously pointing. Vigorously pointing. I look up to where he's pointing. What do I see? I'm just the road pointing. forward. The road? Yeah. <laughs> I look back down on him and I'm just like. Don't shrug. I just Don't shrug. shrug at me. No. <laughs> okay. Get shrugged, That's idiot. Good. That's it. Now I'm sad, but what can I do? Okay. Um, you guys are camping for the evening. That's what I'm hearing. Who is taking the shifts for, for watch? I'll be doing the same thing. Okay. I could take a watch I'll on one of these well. shifts. Okay. So who's taking the first ship I, besides Serox? I guess I would. Okay. Erica and then Melonius, you'll take the second one. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, both of you roll your perception checks as I roll the dice. I'm not good at that. You 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 take a nap during your shift, Erica. Um, Serox, you're not particularly aware of your surroundings right now. Fortunately, though, your rest is undisturbed currently, and your night watch goes smoothly. Um, next. Watch, please. I need perceptions, please, from... Yeah. Yep, 14. Okay. You you guys have sharp eyes for this particular watch. Uh, and you are fortunate because you see no foes uh, closing in on you. Again, this watch goes uh, smoothly. And morning, morning comes around. Same deal, 8.30 in the morning. You are one day's travel away from Stone Valley. No uh, no issues have occurred. And I assume we're pushing on. So we continue to travel. And I will do another GM roll. Who is leading the group? I suppose I... Okay, what's your passive perception? Is it 13. 10? 13. Okay. I need you to roll a d5. One. 
Okay. Let me set up for it then. Boink. Oh, how do I get a token for this? Where is it? Oh, you know, it's funny. Some of these tokens, I sometimes get good ones. Okay, we're picking this guy. Okay. Let me go ahead and move some things around. Make this work. The setup for this. You are traveling on the road. And you notice just off to the side, there appears to be a broken down wagon and an individual on the ground next to the wagon the individual is this large man here dang that's a big guy uh, you currently don't know if the person is dead or alive damn boy he's thick um the horses appear dead so i will mark that And the wagon is broken down, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, there appear to be some boxes also next to the wagon. It is just along the road. I don't have a road on this map or anything like that, but assume it's right off the road. Would you like to investigate or just move on? I uh, say to the group, could be an ambush. Keep an eye on the trees. I want to run and check on the guy. With that. Okay. okay. Uh, you guys can move your tokens there. I'm fine with it. So, um, Elner, what are you? Are you just checking like a pulse or something? What are you yeah, checking? Okay. See if he's alive, I guess. Do a medicine. Do a medicine. Uh, can I assist with that? You can. Sure. You both appear to be doing it. So, oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is, it, it, I mean, even if I took the 10, it's it's still like pretty mediocre here. Um, I will say you sense the person is alive. And that is all you get. It appears to be an unconscious man. Human. And I look and see if he has any injuries, like visible injuries, like cuts, bruises, that kind of thing. You can check for that. Um, and I will use your previous medicine check. You find some bruising on okay. on the arm, uh, no broken limbs. Uh, there, okay. there, there is a cut as you investigate the face. There is a cut on it on this person's face. Okay. I I, I cast cure wounds. On the person? Okay. Yes. The You use cure wounds. Uh, the person is no longer unconscious. And um, you heal some of the cuts and bruises. And um, what's everybody else doing before I do this interaction? I'm scanning the tree line. Okay. Yeah, I'm, with Sarah I'm taking a look at the horses, trying to see what happened to them. Okay. Tree line currently appears you don't see anything. That would lead you to believe that there's something hiding in ambush. However, if you'd like to keep a closer eye, you need to roll you need to roll perception if you're trying to investigate further beyond that. Serox, you walk to, up to the party and you say, Nothing in the trees. Jub, there's something there. You um, you put your ear to the ground, so to speak, and you investigate the tree line a little bit. You are nervous. You think there's something actually in the tree line, contrary to what Serox is saying. Serox is extremely confident, though. There's nothing to worry about. He's Very telling calm. you, Jub, don't worry, my friend. Nothing to worry about. Uh, Gerald, Gerald's going to say, Oh, stinky! <laughs> oh my God, the bird, the um, the bird says, "Uh oh, stinky!" It appears, which may not be a good sign. Hey, hey, Otto, just a quick side question. I know you said that like 
us fighting each other wasn't allowed, but does that include us killing his bird? Um, <laughs> you, you, you could, I suppose, try and kill the bird. However, it's a, okay. it's Not a, that I want to. I, I just wanted that clarification. You, you could, I suppose. <laughs> um, you could kill his 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 parrot friend. Um, but I I don't know I don't know I don't know why you do that. But you could, I suppose. Um, as for the horses, uh, why don't you this? Let's have you in. I'm gonna see. You can roll medicine. You can roll perception. You can roll nature. You can pick one. Feeling pretty natural. Okay. The horses appear Unnatural. dead. Um, okay. Possibly an animal attacked them. I see. There's like there's some claw there's some <laughs> there's some claw marks. You th you think animal? Uh -huh. Um, I'm I'm assuming they are like saddled to the wagon, right? Like these are. They still have everything on them still, or...? They were. Uh, the... The connections that tie them to the wagon are severed. Hmm. But their bodies are still next to the wagon. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Arden, I'm just gonna have hang out with you guys. I'm not gonna have them do anything. Okay. The, the man, um... Is no longer unconscious. And... Um... He... Wakes up. And he says, oh, who are you? I'm going to point to Melonius and kind of like nudge him to do the talking for this one. <laughs> he like kind of pats himself down. He's like, oh, I'm awake. But all I remember is my wagon being attacked by some... Like a, a look like a wolf. Hmm. Might could could still be around. You'd you'd best be careful and oh. Uh, okay. So after giving Melonius a nasty side eye for saying nothing, uh, I'll ask the hey, guy Jesus. where he was. <laughs> I didn't. I'm. I'm currently indisposed at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the guy where where he was headed. Um, he says I'm just a trader. I was taking some food to Stone Valley, and along the way, I was attacked by a wolf. And I don't actually remember how long. How I don't know how long I was out, so I can't really say when it happened, but. I'm sorry. It, I can't tell if it was recent or not. Yeah, I don't know either, because we just walked up and found you. Uh, we're heading to Stone Valley too, though, so you should probably join us so you don't get attacked by more wolves. He says that's that's a that's a capital idea. I will I will join you. I have a request, though, if you would allow it. I see you have horses. Would you allow me to fashion my wagon to those horses? And I could easily repair this wagon. And in return, I will let you sit in my wagon as we travel. Rest up the legs. Traveling in style would be pretty cool. They're not uh, my horses. Yeah, all right. Make a Erica. decision for the <laughs> horse sure. owners. What about the horses? I'm sorry. I was looking at something. Uh, the the individual that you have saved is asking if he can use your horses, tie them to the wagon, and you can all join him in, in the wagon and rest your legs as you travel. Uh, he's doing this because his cargo can't be easily carried. I mean, I, I certainly like to help if possible. Um... I swear Maloney's had the other horse, didn't he? Uh, I, th I said, I said we could use them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. So he um he says, excellent, excellent. I will, if you don't, I have to take some time to fix this wagon. Nope. Uh, if somebody would like to help, though, I could use a hand. It appears that one of these wheels has uh, come off 
I just need someone to help me lift the wagon, and I can place it back on. I am not very strong, not it. Perhaps your I... armored fellow, who's quite strong, I would guess. And this one here with the bulging muscles would assist me. I'll walk up and attempt to lift the wagon. All right. If it's just you, uh, Melonius can obviously assist. Uh, you would roll. Um, I'm just going to have you roll athletics. 21. I don't even think you need an assist. Okay. So you lift the wagon and he lifts the wheel kind of places it into the um into the axle and um and he just kind of like bashes it into place <laughs> and then he uh, at that point he'll um he'll do a bit more to actually get it get it completely fixed up um let's see here job you're pretty close to the tree line you keeping an eye on it still or are you ignoring it yeah i'm still looking okay um a creature has just walked out oh. from the tree. Oh no. It appears to be some kind of wolf, you think. Uh, I'm gonna tell Arden and Eric, I don't know, I'm gonna be like, hey, there's a there's a there, there's the wolf, I think. It's right there. Uh under the shade of the tree, Erica, you notice a wolf like creature um on four legs. Uh it appears to be eyeing your group. That's probably not good. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we should be ready to. Uh, do uh, do to I fight. ever hear this? Yeah, close enough. Sure. Uh, I'm going. Hold on. Let's see. What effect do I want to do? Uh, let's cause harmless tremors in the ground for one minute to try and scare away the wolf. Okay. I like that. Harmless Trevor tremors, uh, tremors for one minute, um, and you're trying to scare it away. Yes. I'm gonna say you need to roll intimidate, but with advantage, uh, because you're using thaumaturgy with it. Okay. <coughs> the tremors, um, while they are not dangerous for your group, um, they appear dangerous enough to s the wolf backs off. And runs off into the wooded area. Oops, not that. You killed him. You killed him, though. Yeah, heart attack. He, he runs scared. off um, <laughs> further into the wooded region. Um, As he runs away. And the the merchant break. trader is kind of like getting off balance. Like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on? Earthquake? We don't get many earthquakes in this region. Yeah, just scaring a wolf. Don't worry about it. Oh, well. Oh, the, the wolf? Oh, you scared it off. Well, excellent work, my friend. Um, I do appreciate it. Well, you're in luck. Just in time, I fixed the wagon. If, you, I, if you'll help me store some of this cargo that came off of it when, uh, when I was attacked, I'd appreciate it. And then we'll be off. And I'll uh, make sure while you're doing that to get these horses, uh, horses onto the wagon. And uh, in return, I will, uh, I'll pay you a little bit of money as well for assisting me. I'll lift the boxes into the wagon. Okay. Um, if it's just Serox, it might take a little bit longer, but um, eventually the wagon does get fixed up. All the cargo is now in it, and you travel faster as a result of being in this wagon than you would on foot. So we'll go back. Um, since you scared the creature off, this creature was worth 700 experience. Go ahead and give yourselves 100 each. Holy shit. Jesus oh. fucking god. I'm glad I scared it. <laughs> yeah. so, what kind of creature was and that? And we still keep our 69. Nice. Yeah, nice. nice. Yeah, only yeah Otto, you had to give us XP and multiple 100 for the rest of the campaign. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, really? Okay, okay, I'll have to think about that. Yeah, 0 until times 100 get, is 0, guys. Until <laughs> we get to, uh, uh, around 6900 and then we have to get to 6900 exactly that's and true. then only 69 more experience that's true that's true that's true you're thinking i like the 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 thinking ahead it's level 20 69 69 69 it should be 
Um, I did say that. I, I did say you get to Stone Valley faster. You did. Um, you were there before sundown. Um, your guess is that you got there a few hours early, and the the uh, merchant that you assisted says, "Well, this is my stop. I will uh, unhook your horses here. Um, I can handle it at this point, and you have my gratitude for I. I sure would have been at the mercy of that creature. I don't." have as much as I think you deserve, but I can give you 140 gold. That would be the profits that I've, well, most of the profits I've acquired from my trip to uh, sell my goods. Is, is this an appropriate reward for, for your assistance? So, Honestly, alternatively, gentlemen, I'm going to pull this to the side to, to talk about it. I think knowing a dude with a cart in a in an area that we're probably going to revisit several times um, in the near future yeah no. just, just keep it as a favor right yeah i think it's I, I i don't think we really need the gold too much right now it's only a few bit yeah. for each of us perhaps and he's willing to take us all the way to port cadence i think uh, i wouldn't go that far i I, I doubt he'd want to go to the port but i think we I should ask him where he it, runs it's routes it's from, certainly right? good to figure out who he's yeah. working for and and all that stuff, for sure. The merchant says, well, 140? Does that sound appropriate? I see you've huddled. Um, perhaps um, you agree? We think um, that that's more than generous of you, um, but this is your journey, and we feel like you should still hang on to your profits, of course. However, um, we just wanted to know, um, what, what exactly trade do you do? Who do you do it for? Um, ah yes, it's good to have um, various contacts across the um, the nations. Yes, so uh, like I said, I'm a merchant. I carry uh, general goods for the stores in this part of the uh, part of Moonglade. I keep to the northwestern region. So um, I will go to Oakwood. I'll stop by the town off the river. Uh, I will on occasion stock up in Pendrago because Pendrago has a higher surplus of goods than other smaller regions. Uh, I also stop here in Stone Valley, and I will um, I will also travel to the Barony to the south, which is uh, White Crest. I will travel there as well and sell my goods. Uh, I actually don't sell in the marketplace. I sell to the sellers in the marketplace. Um, I am simply helping to supply these wonderful places. So... That is my uh, that is my trade. Any business you work for specifically, or is it your own, or? Uh, no, I um, I, I happen to be contracted. My my work is contracted from a bigger distributor. Is it is the distributor located out of um Pendrago or? In yes, area, I or? I apologize. But yes, my distributor is based in Pendrago. Um. Uh, the the distributor it's um i wouldn't say it's the largest distributor it's more of a ma and pa type right. of deal uh, would i have an idea of who he might be talking about uh the if he says it's not a larger distributor you may know of a couple off the top of your head that because, would that would yeah. be that would be a little bit uh smaller in scale um I will admit. I would obviously have known about some distributors <laughs> uh, and stuff i'll admit capital i'm gonna have to pull a name out of my ass here um, so <laughs> I'm just going to make something very simple and generic and I pull silly. a name out of my ass. <laughs> it was like, uh, uh I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, yeah, work for uh, the distributor's name is Hammerfist. Uh, oh, small, small scale. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard of them. I, I, I've actually spent time in the capital myself. Um, but, um, what was your name? I'm sorry. I did not catch it. Oh, uh, yes. You may call me, uh, Th Theros. Theros is the name. Uh, T H, T H Theros, not Pharos. Some people mistake for an F, but it's a T H. T H. English is weird. Common is a weird language. <clears throat> well, um, I don't. We just appreciate the expedition on our journey, though. That was appreciated, saving us some time. Of course. We're actually headed to the port, so any time saved the, does help. The port? Which one? Uh, Cadence, I believe. Oh, um, tread carefully Cadence there. Over there. Tread carefully there. Um, 
the port, rumor is, uh, based on my travels, uh, there's a rumor that people think that it's haunted. People seem to think there's some kind of ghosts out and about. Uh, you'll forgive me, I'm not... I'm not much of a believer myself, but I will occasionally sell, um, supply goods to the port. Um, uh, the entire port is haunted, not just part of it, the entire No, 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 no. Look, they think that the port is haunted. That is what I know. I told you, I'm, I, I don't believe in such things. But that is the rumor that is circulating uh, among those that I travel to. Uh, I stop by plenty of taverns and the like, and whispers seem to think that there are ghosts and things like that in the in in that particular area. Uh, I can tell you right now that supply has lessened of late. But. Well, if, I mean, if you're not going to accept a reward, I, I feel I should give you something. Does anybody have anything in mind? Because I am good. Hmm. I mean, I will always take money. I personally feel the few hours of travel is very helpful, but um, my compatriots can work out something with you. Um, if they have anything they could think of. Um... Is there anything specific you were trading? Or did we notice anything in the cart? Um, he says, I trade general goods. Like I said, clothing, goods. food, um, anything you could find at the general store, I will supply to various Hostiles. different towns. Rations or something for the journey. Does that does that mean replacement tent, mayhaps? <laughs> do you, have you, it, do you, you want to mention tent? that? Do you want to mention that, Tim? Uh, <laughs> Perhaps you a tent, that? good sir. A tent. You we are. We have tents left, or are they all destroyed? Tent. Honest question. You got two left. You have two. We still have two. Okay. He says, "Well, you're in luck. I happen to have a camping set uh, on my wagon. I'd be willing to say that on my journey, one fell off the wagon, and uh, yeah, these these uh, these places know that on occasion during travel, things can get lost." I can scratch that as an unfortunate accident, and I believe that they will understand. So, Erica, one, excited to have one of her two tents back that were destroyed in the if, first combat. With if the you tent. wish, I, I have one. I have a camping set. If you'd like to take that, okay. that would be excellent, friend. Very good. I now, two now I noticed you're a bit smaller. I happen to have a halfling-sized tent or a normal-sized tent. Okay. <laughs> Do you have halfling-sized sleeping bags, mayhaps? I do. I do. Here. Take oh, this. That would be excellent, friend. Thank you. <laughs> it's very. It's a very small blanket. <laughs> it's a very small, <laughs> it's a small blanket. So it's Does a child. For, for a person. So for. So for a human, um, it would look like a child's blanket. Um, it does have a small pillow that comes with it. Again, oh, yeah. it's very small. Like a baby Yoda's wrapped in. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit bigger than that. A little bit bigger than that. Um. Wow. So he says, well, I can provide you with the normal camping tent and halfling-sized blanket with pillow, and uh, that would be a... I feel that's a that's a nice reward for you. Be more than enough, friend. Thank you. Perfect. And he takes it off the cart, hands it to you, and he says, I wish you safe travels if you're going to the port. Um, I did say that the rumors were it's haunted, May or may not be true. You know how rumors are, but it's a rumor. I would like to think there's a nugget of truth in it. It wouldn't have started for, you know, without some reason. Or it is important. As well, I'm off. I need to drop a few things off to several stores before they close. And I will um, be taking a rest at the local inn. Before he leaves, um... He's resting at the end. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we also spending a day here before we head out? Uh, Just in time. We, it... we have a couple hours before it's nighttime, right? We could going nice. if we wanted to right away. How how far is it to the port, Otto? It would be a day and a half if you're on foot. 
So, I don't know how much time we have left that we save by taking like the a wagon. Week. But if we, if we like left town tonight and camped, like would that shave off enough to get us to port quicker? Or? You would get to port in the evening of the okay. ne of the following day if I you were to leave. It doesn't matter if we want to come in in the morning or the evening. Okay. I I have I have a proposition for my horse fellows. So this cart seemed really useful. So what if I try to buy a carriage and then hook it up to your horses so we can go faster? Do we have a big enough carriage for seven people? And we probably would. We need a third horse, Pricey. essentially. You might I mean, need seven people just fit in that cart to at least like rotate around. Seven people like... did fit in the cart. Um, it worked out at full capacity. So you could purchase a wagon. Wagons actually are not terribly expensive, as I recall. From yeah, I just checked. They're the really thing. cheap. They're cheap. But again, that's you gotta you know it's it's wagons, horses. Um, I will do this because um, you may need a spare wheel with that. Uh, if your wagon wheel breaks, you're shit out of luck without a spare. Um, okay. Consider that. Consider wagons can break, and that's what I'll say. Uh, <clears throat> I still think that's worth checking to see if we can buy one so that we stop walking everywhere since you know we, we had the money to afford far. it now yeah makes sense to me so i assume the stores are closed now right uh you'd have to make your purchase in the morning yeah so let's spend the night in the end and in the morning we can see if we can get a uh carriage cart wagon whatever and then see if uh that helps us get to the port in a nice time okay i'm for it let's do it okay then we're resting at dragonfly inn you've been here before uh the barkeep who's seen you uh just a week just a little bit over a week ago sees you says oh Travelers, you again. Well, good to see you again. Uh, do you need a room? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like staring at each other, waiting for something. Like you go, someone something. gonna say anything? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, need it, need it, need it. It's like ass out on the bar. This, this isn't freaking Skyrim where you can just walk away, get a sandwich, <laughs> come back, and your conversation continues as normal. Um, this isn't very good. Uh, one, uh, we'll we'll say it's a uh, one gold per room, and uh, wait, these aren't still comped. Why would they be? Why would they be comped, sir? Oh no, I was asking. I wasn't asking him. I was asking in general. <laughs> They're not comped. Okay. Oh no, one gold a piece. <laughs> my horror. money. So, how many rooms will I be uh, procuring for your group for this evening? As a reminder, we have a special discount. Um, our halfling-sized rooms happen Yo. to be uh, happen to be quite cozy. If you Wait, get it's already one gold, so what's two of them gold? will cost one gold. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, I'll buy Pat Tyannon's room and we'll get halfling rooms. Oh, and it's free for me. Even better. Very good. Very good, sir. Two halfling rooms, and perhaps one, one or two larger rooms for the other gentleman here. I'll buy my own room. Very good, sir. Yes, yeah, same. Very good, sir. And uh, I'll assume everybody gets a room. Everybody gets a room, except for the halflings. They get they get their discount, one gold discount. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo like walks away, just going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. What was the plan? Are we getting a cart? Uh, you're currently resting for the night. Everybody's bought a room to themselves. It appears uh, one gold per room, except for the halflings. They bought two rooms for one gold. Um. Okay. And um, you rest for the evening. Obviously, there's no random encounters here. So before bed, can I do something real quick? Yeah, you can. I wanted to take some time and stay up and write a quick letter um, back home. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm gonna like put it in a little envelope and then put my my family's business on it um and address it and in the morning or in the night if it's not too late I want to find that merchant again and ask if he can next time he's in Pendrago deliver that letter for me okay well the, the merchant's in the inn so you will say you fortunately find this merchant in the inn and you you walk up to him and he says oh uh ma'am how may I help you again actually um someone i know runs a business in pendrago and next time you're in there if you could deliver something for me i'd really appreciate it uh what's the business um, again by the way i i did not name it so let me see you know that's, a, you do. that's a that's a good question um i would address it on the envelope but i believe let me see, let me see if i did put a name to it it's fist hammer it's not fist hammer <laughs> yo fist hammer it's not there fist you know? hammer Shut up. i believe it'd just be called uh kino miso kino miso okay yes is would you consider it a big business? Um, would it be well known? It, it's it would be known within the capital. For okay, sure. he yes. then he takes the kino miso, um, miso, miso <laughs> kino miso. It's very it's it's there's a space in there. There's a space. Kino miso. I got it. I got it. Take it easy. Otherwise, it's going to be called fist hammer in a second. Let's see. Uh, okay. Kino and I, miso. And I, and I give him five hammer. gold. <laughs> Just and I ask him to deliver that to me. And the letter just basically says some of the things that have been happening, what I'm doing. I'm just um, guessing that's the spelling. Not too much um, detail. Okay. He yep. says, oh, uh, Kino Miso. Ah, yes. Um, while I haven't been contracted by them at any point, I do know of them. Uh, yes, I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, eventually, I'll make my way back. So when I do, I, really I will I will be sure to stop by. And for your troubles, and I hand him five gold. Um, so, oh, yeah, okay. He says, oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, have a safe travel. And I go back to my room. He raises his glass and he says, evening to you. Mm -hmm. um, the morning comes around and this I'm about, to, I'm about to throw you out. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the morning. You guys are up and you need to purchase a wagon of some kind. Uh, you need to go to where the stables are. So the stables are near the edge of town, and the stables will sell your wagons. Can I uh, sell my emerald? You could sell your emerald. Um, so you go to, are you going to go to the uh, uh, Magical Emporium or the, the General Goods Store, which is uh, still Helena's Goods and Healing. However, that name will change soon. Um, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Pick a store. I don't know, I don't know which one's going to give me more money for it. <laughs> You'll have to just go and check. I'll go to the Goods and Healing. You go to the Goods and Healing store. And um, the uh, Emerald, I think, is like a thousand gold. So, That's what you said it was, yep. yeah. so the, you enter the store and you walk up to the counter. A lovely, uh, a lovely lady greets you. And she says... Good evening, sir. How may I help you? I pull out the emerald. And Ooh. I say, I'd like to sell this. A fancy jewel you have there. May I take a look? I hand it over. She takes out a little magnifying glass and inspects it. She says, well, a high quality item. Well, I would be happy to take this off your hands. I will pay you 950 gold for it. 950. I'll, I'll, does she hand it back to me? She does. Okay. I say thank you. I'll consider that offer. And I'll walk out. <laughs> okay. Is that? I'm going to go to the other place. <laughs> the other magic store. Uh, okay. The front counter person there greets you. Goes across the street. And, <laughs> and says, how, how can I help you, sir? I pull out the emerald. And I say, I'm looking to sell this. Okay, may I inspect it, please? I hand it over. She says, you know, on occasion, people try and forge jewels. Forgeries, I should say. Try and pass forgeries is the real thing, so we have to inspect. This, this seems genuine to me. I'd be willing to take this from you for 980 gold. Time to ask the port. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm considering it, but... Do it. Um... <laughs> he just goes around the entire kingdom to survey the extra 23 gold he can get from that one place in the northwestern continent. <laughs> Is, uh, sir, do you is that agreeable for you or? It's it's just the it's a dial up tone right now as I'm considering this. <laughs> <laughs> like, sir. Uh, the Reggie Rock tone uh, from a uh, Pokemon. Nine hundred eighty. <laughs> Nine hundred eighty, sir. It's a lot of gold. That sounds like a deal. I'll take it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Here is your gold. I am also providing you with a receipt of sale to me so that will be for your yourself and uh i appreciate the sale to our business i nod my head and walk out okay uh you are now 980 gold richer and um no, 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 here's here's the big question okay uh do i distribute it equally amongst my party or do i go buy that plate mail i've been eyeing Oh, well... It's your jewel. Do what you want. It's my jewel, mm. but it was earned by the party. I also earned a bag of holding from the party, so... And boots of Elven yeah. Swift. So, I, I, like... I can't exactly say I've been fair. <laughs> hmm. I feel like you're gonna wear, come back wearing some plate armor, dude. Just, uh, just a feeling. Back. What are you Wait, calling you me greedy? Change your armor. <laughs> you calling me greedy? What? Yeah, you Bro, you haven't armor. stopped for us at like any. Try. There's training. different like tiers of armor. You know that, right? Right. Yeah, but I thought he was made of armor. Is there something under that? Yeah. More no, armor. I just like layers other pieces and put other pieces on. Yeah. Them. He's an oh, ogre. Okay. <laughs> understand? Yeah. Like oh, like an ogre, he has layers. <laughs> try. Dude, my my little halfling mind is blown. Are you following along for this journey? No, but it's going to be blown when he shows up with new armor. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. This is the hardest decision I've ever made in my life. <laughs> you know, in times like these, I always... Now, what's the second hardest? Where to sell your armor? <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> I, wow. I love Tororo. He's the best. Wait, do you have enough money for plate mail with that? 950 yeah, with, that, with that I do. <laughs> That's a lot of money, dude. I have not it been like you guys have been buying stuff. I have not been buying anything this whole time. I see, I see. I've we've also made we've money. also made a lot of money. I you know, Hectic, I hate to do this, but can you can you buy it faster? I'm sorry, Otto. I faster <laughs> little mouth. Can you can, can you I buy go, it faster? Can I go see what oh it's God, what it's costing Otto. right now? What the because cost of is of plate mail? Haggle, haggle, haggle. Because I'm sure What's the plate there. mail on the store catalog? I don't know. I'm trying to open it, but the pop-up's not opening up. Yeah, you gotta do everything yourself these days. You know, you just gotta... I'm literally <laughs> clicking on the Shap catalog and nothing's happening. You're... Oh. Nope, it's working for me. Let's see here. I could zoom in, though. Okay, Armory Blacksmith. Plate mail. According to this, its normal cost is 1,500 gold pieces, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, 1,500. You could try to haggle, though. I am, but I'm not exactly good at haggling. Yeah, but you're sticking to I'm it. A one track mind. Do it. I mean, if you have the money, just buy it. You're made of armor. Just All right. Let's All right. I'm buying it. Oh, he's buying it. He did it. Congratulations. Okay, now that you've bought it, uh, cart people, who's buying the wagon? Who? How are we buying the wagon? All right, I'll buy the wagon. What's the cost okay. overall? I'll go with to try and chip in. Okay. okay, so the cost of a wagon, uh, what was the cost of the wagon, Tricurd? So the cost of just the wagon is 35. Okay. Well, I don't say anything for, like, wagon parts. If you want to buy a wheel, it'll cost you an extra five gold. Okay, well, let's do that. Okay. Maybe some extra lumber just in case. Oh, lumber's like super expensive right now, though, in real life, so I don't know. <laughs> so it's 40 gold for the wagon spare wheel. You could use your horses that you already have to tie it up. You could also buy new ones. Uh, um, uh, I think we just use the ones we have. I probably need... I, this is 
bit and brittle seems to be something about attaching a horse to a wagon, so I'm going to assume we need that. Okay. So I'm going to say 44 gold. Okay. For 44 gold, you walk up to the stable master. Um, he greets you. He says, can I help you? Yes, we like a, a wagon with a spare wheel. Nice wagon. Okay. A bit and brittle. Sounds good to me. That will be 44 gold, sir. No. Uh, may I suggest getting a stepping stool? You are small. Perhaps you would need assistance <laughs> getting up the wagon. So okay, how we much have is the stepping stool? we have halfling no. stepping stools okay, for for an extra He's three gold, you. sir. Ask for two of them. Three gold. You. Okay, no, no, no. They could just pick me up and throw me, and I'm yeah. <laughs> he gets it. Very good, sir. Just thought I would ask since you are a halfling, I presume. And you have several, yes. in fact, with you. Uh, well, I guess just the two, now that I'm looking a little bit further. Well, uh, that'll be 44 gold without the stepping stool. Now, sir, are you the one driving this wagon? Do we need a license? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to drive Not a wagon. I, no, sir, you'll forgive me. Perhaps... Um, Perhaps you'll need some kind of fastener into the wagon. You are quite small. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'll ride in the back, and uh, one of my uh, larger compatriots can handle the horses. Very good, sir. Words. Very good, sir. I only wish to ask because, well, if you or your other small friend were driving, you could be easily thrown off the wagon. Can I help you with anything else, sir? Uh, no, no, that, 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 that should be all. Fantastic. Uh, you don't need to purchase any horses, or, um, perhaps for you, uh, a donkey? No, we, we already have the horses. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good, sir. Well, I hope, I wish you well on your journeys, and thank you for your business. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... So it's going to take me two hours to put on this armor. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you, got, you, got all that. you better get okay. fucking oh, started on the wagon. Oh, yeah, right. can you put it on while we're riding in the you wagon? You can put it on on the wagon. Okay, then I'll have to do that. <laughs> so it's going to take two hours. It takes me an hour to take off the, the chain. Mail. An hour. Well, while we're oh, figuring we this out, who has it? who has the animal handling to drive the cart? By the way, good question. Jump. Hi, Jump. Jump. How are you today? Jump, Jump does. I have Jump. plus one. Jump is Jump animal also has an animal. I've got plus five in proficiency. Yeah, maybe we have Jub sure. drive the fucking yeah, cart. Jub, um, Jub, by who, the way. Who's, who's the backup, though, is the question. I have a question for Jub. Does your confusion yeah. with birds also translate to other animals? Or no, is it... no. Okay, got it. Horses Needed to know that. Needed to know that. Um, okay, then you'll have no problems. So, um, you have a wagon, and you, you take some time to fasten it to the horses, and it looks like you're all ready to go. You've even got some space on the wagon to store some of your camping goods so that uh, you can not have to carry them on your own. Hell yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I knew that was good. Right, so, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. What? Uh, I have to hop out because I have things going on tonight. Okay. But, no problem. See ya. Uh, bye. Okay. Later. Well, the last thing we'll do um is the last part of the travel and then when we get to port we're gonna we're gonna end so it'll it, potentially a very short session um the wagon will only take one day to get there which means we have to roll random encounter only once yo nice. hell yeah best 40 gold ever spent are you trying to get there faster Where though you, you want to get there faster no okay <laughs> Cool. I'm still worried about Jub driving this. Jub, you're driving, correct? Hell yeah. You're not driving fast, right? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be driving slow at first because I heard the guy talking about people getting thrown out, and I'm a little nervous about it. Okay, I need you to roll a d3. Oh god! So wait, do I do slash r one d3? Yes, slash so r. Yep. Sla yep. 
Okay. I assume since you're not going fast, your horses are going at a walking pace. Um, I'm setting up the uh, the thing here. You'll have to bear with me. Oh, no. My brand new wagon. <laughs> oh, was I rolling how many wheels? Yo, I'm going to thunder wave it away. I've been warned. <laughs> If you thunderwave my wagon, I'm <laughs> stealing your if, if I If I get woken up again... Oh, hey, you take that back. <laughs> you take that back right now. It's not funny. Look, man, Find I'm... a new shell if you break the cart or the horses or the tents again. Look, man. If you just You're gonna break me something, up break you just your bag. Enemies, I'm gonna freak out, dude. I will just fill your shell with me, so... Don't do that. Please. True. I know a guy. You find as your group is traveling by the road, there you are quickly surrounded from off the road by okay. some oddly gold. dressed lots of piles of gold. Oddly dressed piles of gold individuals. Uh oh. You're completely surrounded, and they've cut off the, the rest of the road in front of you. Question, how long have we been traveling? You've been traveling long enough where your plate mail can be on. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see. Now, the question is, do they know common? Are these the ghosts? They're not the... Oh, no. Do they know oh, common? Is not a good first answer. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Otto. Do mm. they know common? Are you being racist? Okay. Anybody here know, speak Elvish? Elvish? I'm uh, pretty I sure Arden does. Who else? Elvish. Uh, Who? I Not do. Me. You do, El El Erica? Anybody else yeah. besides Erica? Jub, Jub, Jub does. Jub does. Let me double check that. You sure? Jub, you know what? Wow. You know Orc? <laughs> okay. Yeah. He knows Orc. <laughs> Fuck, fucker knows Orc. All right. Um, <laughs> the, the large group... <laughs> Stops you and uh, starts speaking to you all in Elvish. Um, the uh, for Jub and Erica, the main one in the middle yells to all of you in Elvish, "You are trespassing in our land." Are we not taking the path? You are taking the path. What? They said these are these are the rightful lands of our people. You are a trespasser. Turn around, or we will act in force. Oh, they said we are we're trespassing in the land. Uh, uh, turn around, or they'll act by force. This is their land. Wait, what's their land? Is it the port? I don't know. You're the the one Auto is... Can we wreck... I mean, I know where we are. Mm -hmm. Like... But looking at these elves, do they, like, bear some sort of, like, regional distinction? They bear some marking on their body. They appear to be in a tribal wear. Okay. Is it possible to know where this tribe's from? That's a great question. There's a couple checks that could do that. I'm thinking history is one. Possibly nature. Um... I'm thinking... I want to think of another one just in case other people want to roll. Let me look at Jub's character sheet now that I'm... I mean, I've got both of those, so... Um, those two for sure would, would be, like, the main ones I would think of. Not religion. Say history? Yeah, history yeah. and nature. I would, I would check in my historical knowledge. Yep, those two. Let's go with those two. Oh, oh nice. my god. Erica! We're gonna go with Erica. Sorry, Elner. <laughs> We're gonna go with Erica. Erica got the big number. I know this... Uh, there are various elven tribes that were, that used to be, um, more numerous across this land. However, since the humans have, um, have come through and taken these lands, um, many tribes were killed. And there are still a couple that are around, but they try to be, some try to be secret, um, Others just live more into the land. Uh, this one in particular, uh, this one, based on your knowledge, Erica, of your studies, well, 
I think it's safe to say this is an aggressive tribe. And they think that this road is in their land, as they've stated. Because there was a time where this was... Um, this was a, a place where they they called home. But since then, their their home has shrunk considerably. But they still think it's theirs. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I know these. The, um, I, I read a book on them once. Uh, they, uh, they're more of an aggressive tribe, and this was technically an area that they were native to before the uh, humans, uh, what's the word, manifested their destiny on the area. Um, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just what the book said. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Terminology. Um, but um, I don't think they're going to just let us travel through. But we can try to um, negotiate. They, um, the person that appears to be the leader calls out again, Last warning. Trespassers. Turn around. Go a different way. Was was this route their area, or was it the port itself? The this current route was in their area. Okay, and what? Is there an alternative? On is the there map? like an idea of like how where we are like inside? Of the, do we like just enter? Are we like halfway through? Like you are roughly halfway. Oh like, boy, was this entire road like their kind of place? Mm, like... mm, you're you don't think so? No, it seems like portion this portion of it though might be encroaching into their into their ancestral home. Hmm. Is the terrain the not on the road though. still pretty flat? Or it it um is... it becomes more treacherous for the wagon. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like can't, a bad idea. And from what I can yeah. see, do they have like spears or are they like axes or like? Based on just looking at them, they are holding spears Quick in their hands. Shit. Um... Uh... Hmm. Maybe we turn around and then come back later when they may be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, in the night. <laughs> Sneaky. Um, what's the plan? What's the plan? Z. Trying to think. I don't know. Someone smart come up with something. Uh, okay. Girl, okay. Jesus. So this. You got this one. I believe in you. Yeah, I have a question since Spoon's not here. Yeah, sure. Spoon can talk to them, right? Yes, he uh, I he does know he does know can, Elvish. Can I convince Spoon to try to charm the leader with charm first? He can do that. So I I he, I will have him that do that if that's what you want. Like, oh, I guess I will handle this. He can, he can do that. Yeah. Would you like would you like him to? <laughs> yes, would you Okay. Please. He's going to roll charm person. A, an ardent thing to do. That is a uh, one spell used. So he attempts charm person on the leader. That is the one talking. I'm saving throw and does so with advantage. If you or your companions are fighting it. Okay, so you're not fighting it currently. Uh, makes a wisdom saving throw. Okay, we're going to make the wisdom saving throw. Uh, I'm fairly certain a 9 fails. I, believe it does. I think he's 12, right? Yeah, Arden's, Arden's is not great. But I think it's better than that. Yeah. Nothing of Arden's is great. <laughs> it's tw it's twelve, so it f it succeeds, and the leader is charmed by Arden. What we also would you like him to say? He would, if I if I've gotten a gist of Arden, I assume be something along the lines of, "Well, we were just passing through as a fellow Elvish individual um, and heritage. We merely seek passage to the port, and I'm sure you wouldn't want us to be delayed." Or something like that. Hmm. Paraphrasing, of course. Yeah. Not as convincing as another way to put it, I'll say. So, though this person is charmed, the wording I got for Arden is to, as a fellow, as a fellow elf, um, to allow us passage and to not hold us up. In some way, I mean, in a in a you know in a in a more eloquent eloquent uh, way. Um, okay, that's still going to require persuasion, because the um, that would not have been the best approach for this. Why did I roll that? 
Um, not sure why I rolled that. Okay, guys, they have, they have a little con. They have a little con. We can do this. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would roll his persuasion. Yeah. That still will take persuasion with no advantage, though. Because that wasn't the way I would put it. Um, the response from the tribe leader is, it is true you are a fellow elf, but that does not mean you are a part of our tribe. We know many, not, well, we know other elves that have left from their ancestral path. So we do not accept your, or, we do not accept this. And this will be our f a final warning. Turn around. You will not be harmed. Find a different route away from our lands. Hmm. So, you want to try? <laughs> if we're going at like the normal speed on this cart, are mm -hmm. we like faster than people running? Or if you go normal speed, your Just horses here. are. You would ha your horses would have to be running to be faster okay. than people running. And the uh, path is treacherous, correct? Would... Like it will only yes. get more treacherous. It will only get more treacherous. You will you will find ro more rocky terrain. Maybe we should just like Back actually turn around and take that other path, the longer through, path, through and take crest? a couple more days. Yeah. I mean, yeah, how much too, longer is that? So Auto. We'll still be fast. To go the other route, to actually go backwards, we'd have to go back yeah. through Stone Valley. You'd have to go back. Yeah. You've already cost yourselves half yeah. a day. You'd have yeah. to yeah. then go yeah. back to Stone Valley. It would be close to sundown. You'd have to stay again the night. You'd then have to make a full day's trek to the barony, and then a full day's trek to the port. You'd be adding two and a half days to your travel, as opposed to just well, you'd be adding two days, I guess, because you you yeah. it's only a half day from here. So that is what you are compromising. Should you wish to turn around, as they've asked. I mean, it's either two more days, or we try to slaughter a bunch of elves. I vote for the two days. Yes, same. I don't feel a need to kill unnecessarily. Yeah, I don't. I think we'd be better taking the alternative route. Um, but I can either push some of them away or make a fog cloud for us to run through if we just want to try to blaze let's, it. Get let's back think up. for now and think yeah. of another plan. As I don't want to lose the horses and the yeah. wagon be stuck out here. Yeah, this is just this is a little brand new wagon, guys. Is, not, that, is that fog it's cloud? Not yet. Like I, uh, I do not wish to have any conflict with the elves. Yeah, let us let us turn back for now and then decide on a plan from there while we're okay. retreating here. Okay. You retreat. Right, you let them know. Yeah, they he he lets them know that they will uh, respect their this, wishes. This fog cloud does it like travel with us or does it like have a move speed or is uh, it like stationary? No, it's a stationary fog cloud. How big um, is it? Let me double check. I think it's a 20, 20 foot radius. And it's That's a sphere. Not that big at all. Yeah, it's not very big. Okay. So, you go, you retreat, and yeah, we're returning back to Stone Valley, it appears, so if that is truly what you wish to do, it will be another halfway to go back, or half day to go back, and um, it would be sundown by the time you arrived. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, that was, that was a good practice run for me, uh, you know, <laughs> trying to figure out All how right. to run the, rag, the wagon, so. Uh, hand in, you're buying the room this time. <laughs> it's another fair. I think it's inventory. fair. Um, <laughs> you arrive, and you you arrive at the tavern. Solidarity, man. The bartender greets you again. He says, "I bought oh, your room twice." Greetings again, my friends. Well, uh, I assume we're going to need a room for the night again. Yep. Yes. Well, the halfling special still stands. Halfling special. <laughs> I'm gonna fork There's over. been a lot of Angrily. halfling jokes this session. Yeah, I, I know. Right? Yeah, Otto, what's your problem with short fair. people, huh? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, mm -hmm. just to make it clear, um, I, Elner, I am not happy about buying you your room, dude. I lost a lot of respect from you earlier <laughs> when you just let the guy make short jokes in front of both of us. <laughs> you just let it happen. I'm not proud of you. Is, I this, be a a is this your like nightly argument? 
<laughs> yeah, he, he's got his little sleeping cap on. He's like, listen, I'm not happy with you, mister. I'm yelling at him in the middle of the tavern. Like, why didn't you stand up for us? I'm just okay. kidding. Whatever. Just, 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 <laughs> just, go, I was like, just go to sleep. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to sleep on a table. <laughs> <laughs> the party here. Here we oh, thought Arden no. was the one that would leave the party first. No, it's Bahannon. It's Bahannon. It's Bahannon, probably. Okay, you guys uh, spend the money on rooms, rest the evening, and um, you you decide to take the longer route, which goes through the barony. So it um the next morning arrives, and you decide to go south, and you take a day's travel to the barony. Uh well, because there's another day, I get to roll again. Yay, rolling. More elves. <laughs> run into more elves. If we death, run into elves death, again, death, dude, death. it's just like okay. killing them. Uh, oh, you no. arrive eventually at the barony without any conflict. Um, the barony. So the barony does have an inn. Um, I don't have a map for it because, yep, didn't feel like we would need it, but I guess we did. Um, so we arrive at the barony. There's a... Uh, the barony is larger than the other towns you've been to. There are um, more than two stores, like a magic store and a general store. There's there's a handful. Uh, bigger marketplace, nicer inn, and you you you. I don't think anybody in the party has officially said they're from here. So all of this is foreign to you, this place. But you arrive, nope. and yeah, you find a you find a place for your cart to stable. Um, by the way. Since you're stabling your cart and your horses, it will cost you uh, two gold to do so. And okay. you arrive at the inn. And let's see here. I'll cover that for you. Don't worry. The Thank you. you arrive at the inn, and the That's owner the of the inn happens to be a gnome. Yes. Yo, all right. The I'm owner sure. of the inn, uh, you, so you, you all walk in. Again. And uh, the people that aren't... Uh, Oh no, the doorway is a normal size for 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 humans and, I, I and elves. Just, just um, but you notice as you walk up that the the gnome uh, um, the the gnome owner is on a stool. He's standing on a little stool, right. and he says, "Greetings. How may I help you? This is the Toadstool Inn." Of course, he is. I'm going to greet him in gnomish and say hi. Oh, he says, "Oh, excellent." Yes, we get to practice our gnomish here. Good to meet you as well, sir. What is your name, my gnomon friend? Elner. Elner, wonderful to meet you. And um, perhaps the rest of your group wishes to introduce themselves. Jub knows gnomish too. <laughs> Jub, Jub knows gnomish. Do you speak to the this person in gnomish, Jub? Yes. Okay, you, you introduce yourself in gnomish, and he goes, Oh, how fun! Someone, well, someone well, else. So, so my my pronunciation is probably bad. I, I know how to read it and write. He it. he respects that you're trying though. He says, "Oh, you're you're almost there. Let me help you with your pronunciation." Um, he he gives you some pointers, and he says, "Well, this has been fun. Several <laughs> folks you don't get around. You don't you don't often get to speak the language, so it's a, it's a nice opportunity." Uh, Pahanan, do you introduce yourself in Gnomish as well? A little bow and an introduction in gnomish okay oh three three speakers three speakers of the tongue this is truly a charm is he saying that in gnomish uh yes and then in common he says well the rest of you may i get you a room for the night or several you have a large group uh, i i just like a single room thank you single room single room i heard two rooms how much is it for me too yeah, three well, rooms. Right on room. Very good. Well, our cozy, our cozy rooms are the finest this side of Moonglade. It will be five gold per room. Never mind. Wow. Um, I'll take it. I take it what back. A deal. <laughs> I'm gonna look. That's all right. I'm gonna shop around a bit if that's okay. Um, between... May I? But you have such a large group. May I offer you a a fine suite? A fine suite comes with multiple rooms. It comes with three rooms, and it will be at a you know bit of a discount compared to if you tried to buy those rooms individually. The suite would be nine gold. Wow. Mm. 
We all <clears throat> Can I tell if he's okay. kind of shamas in us here? How many? Because we're travelers. How many sweets do you have, friend? We happen to have three available. Hmm. Nine gold for you a know what? Oh. For a what fellow is... comrade, I'd be willing is... to support the business. What is the I average? Bought... I'll buy all three for nine oh. total rooms. Um. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, nice. <laughs> he right. says, oh, well, that's very Rooms kind of you, sir. Boys. You know what? I'll discount you additionally for buying those three. The normal price would have been 27. I'll bump that down to 22. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to interrupt this because I don't want to like ruin his nice gesture because I feel flattered. However, I do want to see if this guy is absolutely schmousing us because we're travelers. I mean, you could, sure. Oh, you, uh, make make an this. insight. Yeah, okay. I'm just curious. Uh, it, it's it's the it, you accept that that's the cost, and it, it doesn't appear he's trying to you know pull a fast one on you. Yeah. Hopefully, there's some nice rooms. That's all I'm saying. Nine well, rooms for seven people. All right. The suites are on the um. Yeah. The suites one happen to be on the bottom floor. One for the horses. Can I make like a little note? Like I eventually owe him a few gold. <laughs> there's a that. sign behind that says the prices. Well, that, I mean. Is do you really take animals, friend? Animals? I believe, I believe we need a room oh, for Oh, we already bird. found a... Well, no, 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 we already stabled We, found, we, we stabled them when <laughs> they came in. Oh. But yes. what are we doing about Jeb's bird? He Where's stays he with me. Oh, I see. Sleeps in my backpack. As long as that's all right, of course. The, the, fancy, right. the fancy parrot is fine. As long as it doesn't make too much of a mess. If it does, you'll get charged. Um, you'll get charged what? an additional cleaning, additional cleaning fee. If if there happens to be too we much of a mess, shit. Uh, I mean it's all in the backpack. We that <laughs> oh is not God. that's not comfortable. That's the no. most disgusting backpack. <laughs> Do you ever. ever clean that? Do you carry your like <laughs> sleeping bag in there? Did and, you like, just like take my backpack when I like switched all my stuff over to my fanny no. pack? No, I got a uh, I got a different bag. I got uh, my oh, so there's see, a, you have a the backpack bag and a pouch. in the regular bag. I see. Yeah. Um, the, um, the tavern owner says, well, thank you for your patronage, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, rooms come with a meal in the e this evening and in the morning, and if you happen to need additional pillows or things like that, you need only ask. We are happy to provide. Ooh, I know, thanks. Um, okay. Um, do we get like keys individually or is it like group keys for the room or? Oh, uh, the suites do have a key here. I will provide and you will just go ahead and please put a name in the ledger for who is, um, who's signing for this. And he, he opens up a large book and slides it to you. I assume that'd be Pahan and he's paying. He says, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a stool next to the counter. You can stand on that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Comrade. Okay, but like when he mentions short, it's fine. But if anyone else says short, that is yeah, tall. Yeah, because he's not a brother. Exactly. What's the problem? He's a brother in arms. I'm right? just making sure that's how the rules are working here. Of course. Mental note. Look, all right. It. Did you say he's a brother in short legs? Not a brother in arms. You shouldn't say that we're short. All right. Just to make that clear. <laughs> okay. Would he be a brother in short legs than a brother in arms? Oh my God! Please. <laughs> Please. Um, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna gonna check uh, I'm gonna check us in. You check in. Everything seems great. Um, and oh, wait, are uh, you writing down like our names? You like, only need to sign. One person needs to sign. Only yeah. one. Let's write down my own. Okay. Is it like afternoon or evening right now? It's currently evening. Okay. Are places still open? Because I'd like to see if I could f perhaps find a map for the port. Area coming um, in. there are there are some places open. Yeah, I would I would try to locate that. Okay, if you're trying to find a map uh, uh, for for the port, you find for it pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah, you find it pretty quickly. Um, and the the innkeeper says, ha "Enjoy your stay." Like I said, meals are on uh, on us since you bought a room. Um, and uh, enjoy. And I'm gonna go to my room and read my book. You have a book. Yeah, remember. Oh. Oh, you need to you mark off any. Uh... Can he not read? It's because he's a big suit of armor, Otto? What the heck? Um, one second. Well, you have eyes. One second. I have to make an adjustment <laughs> to your to your character sheet. 
Let Why me just go ahead and let me just go ahead and full expenditures for the map. This will have 768 experience as opposed to oh yikers. Oh. I'll just gonna purposely find mobs that give us like one XP, like exact oh. level up. He's gonna be one XP short for a whole <laughs> just, No! <laughs> Why did I lose XP? No, no, you're fine. Leave it. Um, okay. Just leave, leave it. At leave it. Just leave it. Okay. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. At, leave it at no. Um. So, the next morning arrives. You all slept well. Nice beds. Uh. Even came with uh, the rooms, each had a drink to, to take, some alcoholic beverages, um, free of charge, and it was a much nicer rest than some of the other smaller towns. And um, at this point, it's morning. Are we leaving? As long as I have my map. Yeah. I like, take the yep. night to like draw it in my journal just because I like having a journal of it. Yeah, so, like, I mean, uh, of course. Yeah, onwards. Like, show the rest of the party. Onwards. onwards. Hold on, mm -hmm. while we're here, uh, I want to buy a halfling size set of studded leather armor. Sure. Go ahead. I, I assume I can just get that at the normal price. Yeah, you're fine. Normal price. Alright, okay. I'll do that. Continue. Okay. Job! You're driving the wagon. Mm -hmm. You don't think there's any problems. There's no one in our way yet. Uh, you say that. Oh no! But I rolled. Uh, I rolled a, a magic number. Oh no! You rolled a sixty-nine. No. <laughs> Even worse. Um. Not nice. As you're driving. Not right. A creature swoops in. Onto the road. <laughs> Where did? I don't like the sound of that. Where'd it go? <laughs> Oh no. Did I not uh, put it? My stomach rumbling. Let me, let me go ahead. There you go. Um, a creature swoops in and attacks you from above. Yikes. Oh, that's really Did bad. Have... So, the covering uh, for the cart or is just a like a yeah. cart? A no, it's an open air cart. Oh, open air cart. For that. A creature flies in at you. Jub, what do you do? It's flying at you. Uh, I'm, like, oh, no. I'm holding on to the horses, right? Like they're the reins or whatever. Okay, rest of the party. Dude. Um, you take notice of this. Uh, there's a creature flying at you. How big is this creature? Uh, according to this, it says large monstrosity. Oh, <laughs> when you say my. flying, do you mean like it's in the air leaping, or like actually has wings? It has it has wings and it's flying towards you. Uh, stop the cart! Stop the cart! I'm gonna um, take out. What is it? Uh, what are its wings like, by chance? Like are they like, like what animal would you compare them to? You look. I see. Oh god. Uh, is it farting? <laughs> is it far <laughs> this is the first thing Kurt says. Is it farting? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's how it flies. <laughs> oh. So it's just think. like fucking. It, it just crop dusts us on the way in. Hmm. Okay, I was gonna. Take out the wings, but I'm not so I don't sure. Don't bring up the turn. do the turn order. I think you're taking out those wings. Can I uh, roll? I, I don't nature know if on I that? can. <laughs> you can roll nature. Go ahead, rolling nature. Wings are taking out us. It's a manticore. That is a manticore, what? as hectic has put it. It is a manticore. Uh, manticores are dangerous creatures that, on occasion, will attack unsuspecting or uh traveling groups to uh try and find meals food scavenge and the like it is a that's good to know it's a fierce creature normal folk avoid it ah uh, well good thing we're not normal folk <laughs> yeah fair. there's nothing normal about me <laughs> yeah we should probably stop the cart and get off before he damages yeah. my right, how do i stop you just you, you just stop. You, know, you, you, you just, just stop. Press, press the brake. Oh. Roll roll animal handling. <laughs> oh no. Okay, thank God. <laughs> you stop in time, the creature swoops past you. It tried to anticipate the um Horse. the horses and the cart, but it's still in the air. Roll initiative. Bum, bum, 
bum 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 da da. Not twenty. No. There's oh, one. There we go. Finally. I mean, not everyone can be me and roll three nat twenties in a session, you know. That's my second. I still can't believe those attacks. As a reminder, the creature is in the air. So yeah, I'm worried about that. Uh, yeah. How are we gonna fix that problem? You know, I, mean, I uh, purposely made my character with no range, so this is really awkward, really fast. Okay, Serox. The creature is flying in the way, uh, in the air. Um, it is at least thirty feet in the air, as well as thirty feet away from you. <laughs> you could throw uh, something at it, but it's yeah. um, it's a moving target. It would be challenging. Um, can I do a running high jump? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do a running high jump? 30 foot vertical. Jump in it. the air to get it. Yeah, you can roll athletic, uh, acrobatics. <laughs> sure. No, 20. Yeah, 20. Athletics, actually. Athletics, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm Why? Have to move 10 feet at least to do the running high jump. You, you, you're going to high jump 30 feet into the air. Okay, I'd like well, to see my, this. My, <laughs> my, LeBron, I, don't, James. I don't have to go 30, right? Because my pole arm has a ten foot. Okay, reach. you're gonna jump. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, I want to see this. <laughs> oh, so badly I do I want to see this. Nat twenty, right here. <laughs> Nat twenty, come on, sleeping, dude. I'm gonna run at him, right, and then I'm gonna take off from the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. No, you ain't. No, so, you ain't. Serox, so you watch. Do I, do I get up in the? No. Air? <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> The group Crowley jump, like everybody else. Cramp. You notice Serox immediately jump off with with true purpose running towards the creature that's flying. He's booking it. His speed is unreal. And as soon as he's about to jump, his feet buckle under him. And he just face plants prone into the ground. He's just like amp oh. amping himself up so much for this jump. And then like he like crouches down and just like, ah, oh, cramp, ah, oh, shit, ah. Oh. You, you are prone on the ground. You probably tore the ground up too. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit I, of like a, say, there's like I a nice love... big drag in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, man, I love Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, without fail. Uh... I swear, whenever things like this happen in D&D, one of two things happens. You roll a nat 20 and succeed in the most ridiculous way, or you roll a nat 1 and it's even better. <laughs> oh my god. Jub! You notice yeah. Serox completely face planted oh. to the ground, and you're you're embarrassed for him. Oh no, I <laughs> I cover Gerald's eyes. <laughs> Bird size. The uh, creature is still flying in the air. Yeah, I I want to cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. And then shoot out with my bow. Okay. Yeah. Hunter's Mark is on it. A twenty-two hits. Alrighty, so I get that and that. Can I ask a question? Hunter Mark, Hunter's Mark is a bonus action, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. Eight damage. Okay. You hit the uh, the creature in the leg with your arrow. Nice. Elner! <laughs> so, uh... Wait, we, we wait, all Sarah's, saw that happen, right? Sarah's still on his knees, right? He's no, prone. I'm, he's I'm face like planted. Ground, oh, he's fully yeah. prone. Oh, okay. Uh, I can literally do nothing. So I'm just going to like run over here to Serox and make sure he's okay. <laughs> you run over to Serox and he's not hurt. He's just sad. <laughs> Good thing machines don't have feelings. <laughs> He's, he says, and, a, and you see some something that would resemble a tear drop from his eye. It's okay. It's okay. Ba, 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 ba. Um, Melonius, I don't think, has any ranged abilities at all. He'll flex on it. Yeah. Melonius has no range whatsoever. Um, he has darts. Yeet. I'm gonna right, click the dart just to see it. Oh, he doesn't have dart actually as a thing. So let me look this up. D and D dart. Uh, darts are simple, I think. 
2060. How high in the air up. is it? It's like 30 feet up, right? Yes. So it would be he would have he would be throwing it at disadvantage, but he could do it. It's a finesse ranged. Uh, th yeah, it's finesse. Okay. So it's with. Uh, Dex. Um, the damage is one d four. And I don't think he's proficient with something like this, so it's just a d4 for damage. Um, so many people without range, wow. So he's gonna, he's got 10 darts, he's gonna run up here and throw a dart at it. <laughs> because why not? Yeah. Like, if this thing flies around on its turn, you guys are gonna have to fucking chase it. <laughs> uh, that's a miss. <laughs> and that's his turn. For the Erica! God, tell me you can put this thing on the ground. <laughs> I... hmm. Uh, Erica? Also not going to have the range for that. Could throw shit, but it doesn't really feel like losing daggers on this journey. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... With my action, can I reach into my bag for a flask of oil and like, like and make like another one of those like, budget Maltov cocktails I did last time? You could. I want to, sp <laughs> I want to spend my action doing that. Okay. Just like preparing one. Sure thing. Like light and throw, um, and then I can like bonus action, like hide behind the cart. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Pahannon. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I guess I gotta try to take it down. Like Eric is smoking behind the cart or something uh, during the it fight. Is, it is too far away for my thunder oh, stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna okay. blast it with an ice knife. We're gonna aim at the wing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then he has to do the deck save too for the um, AOE stuff. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. He does okay. a barrel roll around the explosion. <laughs> but he takes the piercing damage, ten. right? Yeah, he takes a 10. Yep. Okay. You hit its wing. Center of the wing. Yeah. You hit its wing, and that definitely did a, a, a good number on it. Uh, Arden. Mark it, mark it. Fuck you, Manticore. Vicious mockery. Vicious mockery does have sixty. You smell like poop because you farted over everything. <laughs> it's gonna come here. <laughs> give it some vicious mockery. I think How far I. Is vicious yep. mockery's range? Oh, six feet. Yeah, it's good. Aha! Wisdom. As far as you can hear. Yes. Fuck Three. you! Fuck that thing's dumb. And, um... Been mocked, so disadvantage on the next attack. Let me okay. let me double check that, though, because this thing makes multiple attacks. Uh-oh. I think it's just on the first attack. Next, The next attack roll. So it's a singular attack roll. Okay! Uh, the creature... Uh, swoops down to the ground next to Pahannon. Oh. Actually, it'll it'll land right on top of the cart. Oh, great! great. No, you and it don't. uses its multi attack. To attack it, the cart. It bites <laughs> Jub and misses. Yep. And it claws Pahannon. Oh God! Oh, misses. And then it claws at Erica. I was hiding. Uh, it doesn't wow, matter. This thing sucks. <laughs> wow. And I mean, it misses everything. Numbers, I mean, it could have been bad. And it's on the, the ground. Thing is, or yeah, I guess I on the cart. probably shouldn't throw the Molotov cocktail on top of the cart here. <laughs> Please don't. don't. Let it rip. Let it rip. I'm here too. Serox, <laughs> you are currently you are prone. We'll you are prone. You need half yeah, your yeah, movement okay. to stand up. Okay. Well, I'll stand up. Very good. I don't suppose I could crawl 30 feet, so... <laughs> no... <laughs> you can't crawl 30 feet, sadly. <laughs> Alright, I'll go there, and mm -hmm. then I'm in within range? Well, I, guess, I don't know. Maybe 15 I feet? Know. You are too close to 15 feet. No. Okay. This is weird. Sometimes the angle... Sometimes the angle's not. Um, I'll chuck a hatchet at it then. Okay, sure. 
I'm gonna duck. Oh! Hey, oh! Redemption! <laughs> Redemption! I'm gonna call out, dodge this, you bastard! <laughs> All that muddy ape made it really stick to his hand. Okay. He got a really good toss off. Uh, 11. Very good. Jub, there's a manticore right next yeah. to you. I'm going to switch to my, uh, my melee and slash at it with my sword. Okay. I remembered to disable my archery bonus. Sure. 18 uh, hits. And Hunter's Mark still applies. Nine? Piercing? On a short? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thought it'd be slashing. Uh, okay. Uh, or... it here. No, it's piercing for me too, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Looked it up. It's damaged. You guys, are ma you guys are doing work on it. Let's do more. El uh, Elner. Yeah. All right, Let's go. I'm very distraught that this thing is on my cart, but there's nothing I can do about that. Your cart. I bought it. Ah, <laughs> uh, now you know how my tents feel. Let's see. I bought it. They're not feeling anymore. <laughs> I still have two of them. <laughs> Barely. We keep getting ambushed in them. Hmm. What's the What's the plan here? Thinking if I want to go all in, or do I just want to try to? You could. So how, how damage is this thing? What does this orange thing mean? We hit it once. 50% or under. Oh, yeah, I'm not going all in then. All right, uh, run here. Wait, can I reach it from here? It's on the cart. You'd have to step on the cart. Okay, I'll step on the cart. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a halfling. I can fit here. Uh, And then inflict wounds. Do you do like a big jump to get onto the cart? <laughs> got yeah, look. he's got to jump on there. That's true. <laughs> you like crawl like it. A fourteen does it, it does hit. A fourteen does hit. Oh, it does. Oh shit. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to click. Mhm. Mm that's dog shit roll. Hey, it's critical. All right, that's it. Uh, it's Melonius's turn. He's gonna. J he's just gonna jump on the cart and punch it. Uh, he's gonna do a quarter staff and an unarmed. Oh, well, both hit. I didn't get to do anything in this battle. Six, thirteen, and it's dead. It's gone. Oh, man. Huzzah! Woo! All right, how are we getting it off the cart? All right, put that moth off the way. <laughs> yeah, put that out. This is kind of a problem. I'll help pull it off and retrieve my axe. Okay, you pull it off and retrieve your axe. No. Is this is are manticores like a rare beast? I'm not actually sure. Uh, I would say yes, fairly okay. rare. So there might be trophy, there might be value. So, um, you could take various trophies. You could take its head. You could also take its its um. You could also skin it if you're able to skin the it. Quills. The quills are pretty. Yep, big. the quills. You could take the quills. I'm gonna take the quills. The head's probably too big. You could take maybe the claws or something. The heart. The heart. The heart, you could take the heart, I suppose. I'm not putting that sticky heart in my bag. I'm just yeah, gonna, no, I'll, I'll take you put it in the poop bag. Like in the poop <laughs> bag. It's Gerald's bag. Yeah, okay, come on. So, the quills to call it could you desecrate okay. home like that? Got it. Take the quills. Uh, the Manticore is 700 experience, by the way. So you get 100 each. Oh yeah. So, so close. So far, we should have nice. killed. Should have killed those elves. Damn it. <laughs> Was there what? seven elves? That would have been 100 XP each. Uh, you assume those elves were worth uh, that much. Those oh, elves... are they like really easy to kill? Those elves were not worth that much. Um, I see. We're not just looking to fucking murder hobo everybody, though. Yeah, no, no, no I'm just... experience! Yo, let's go find some low-level boars. <laughs> just cry. <laughs> Get out of level. here! Get the frick out of here! Like, find some boar. Exterminate the four <laughs> eggs real quick. Um, we literally are. We're so close to level. Yeah. Three. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You yeah, low level boars. Dude. The more I heard, the more you complain, the more XP the DM gives you. Oh. 
Well, you yeah, get... that worked earlier. Somebody was like, oh, we're only at 68. Come on, one oh, more. True. Okay, yeah, but that's different. That is literally one XP. It was one XP, <laughs> yeah. Okay. We just and, need to complain 31 more times. And haha, 69 funny. Um, the, the rest of this is you travel to the port. And you arrive at port. Next time you'll get a map. And it's it's evening, so you arrive at the local inn. Um, it, it is a... There are not a lot of people at this inn. It is not nearly as nice at the, as the inn in the Barony. In fact, it looks a little run down. Uh, definitely a sour mood amongst the people as you entered. And um, as you arrive at the tavern, the, um, the tavern over, uh, owner has you know just sunken onto the bar even as you enter. And um, at this point, you'd probably want to go ahead and book your rooms. This is the only tavern in town, by the way. That is right, that is an inn. Kill real quick in town. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can okay. we get a approximately thirty-one experience from not murder hoboing the elves? <laughs> Let's see. We mm. need about two hundred and ten experience Lord. for not being bad players. The yeah, um, it's a, great, it's a great deal, Otto. Come on. You um, uh, no. You walk up to the <laughs> the person who's at the bar, and he says. You need a room? We yeah. need a few. Um, I would like a single room, personally. Great. We've got three rooms. Uh, oh, I have to do. All right. Well, we'll take all three. No, I mean we have a total of three rooms. There are two available. Oh, okay. We'll take two. Okay. Uh, three gold total. Yeah, it's cheap, at least. All right, who wants it? I'll give one, I guess. I don't know. I can pay one. I'll the, pay one. Yeah. The guy says, you say it's cheap. Just wait till you get in there. You'll think it's real expensive. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be cockroaches on the bed, dude. He, he like, he uh, puts back a swig of whiskey. He says, Just as a have a nice night. <sighs> <laughs> have a nice night. Oh, man. And uh, you get to your rooms, and it's it, it's the poorest looking bed you've ever seen. I'm unfurling Can my we... own mattress from my bag. <laughs> Do we see any bugs, or is it just like... Great so question. Crazy? Um, roll some investigation. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I don't need to check. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't, because we find it and we don't kill mode. it, then it's just gonna never get any sleep. There's a spider in the corner eating a cockroach. Oh, oh, it, spider. Is this like American this. spider? On, is this, this. A, a American spider or Australian spider? Yeah, Kuru, how big are we talking? Kuru observes the spider wrapping the um, cockroach in a cocoon, making some notes, and offers <laughs> an additional fly to the spider as a treat. The, the spider accepts it and lets nice. it be placed into the web. Oh, yeah. The spider accepts this gift. <laughs> Where the fuck did you get a fly? Or didn't you get a fly? Have you seen these rooms? You yeah, notice there are several flies hovering the poop bag. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I'm in oh the other God. room of the poop bag. I call the other room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody's going to have to sleep in Jub's room. Oh. <laughs> Can I get my own room? Sweet. Uh, I know Xerox <laughs> sleeps with Jub. Xerox is armor. He doesn't smell. have a sense of smell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No offense, big guy. Um, I'm, doing that, I'm doing that thing you did as a kid where, like, you zipped up your entire sleeping bag and slept inside of it. That's me. <laughs> that's, that's Erica right now. She's just, like, a cocoon of her own. You are all nestled into your lovely rooms. Uh, Kuru continues, uh, excuse me, Jub continues to observe the spider. He's fascinated by the, the process of cocooning its food and things like that. Um... In the other room that you didn't, you didn't purchase. Uh, here's somebody's gotten into a fight with another person, um, and that's how we'll end today. Hmm. You did not sleep particularly soundly, but you did get a long rest. Yetter. So close. Oh my God! It's so close. <laughs> Staying I'm right. telling you, no, 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 no. It's bad. We got I, got, I got one last, one last flea. Okay. Good. If you give us exactly, I what thirty one experience, 
everyone in the party will level up except this because you took one that's away true. from them. That's true. That's true. Oh, that's a valid point. No. That's a Wait. valid point. Let me think about it. Uh, no, actually. Nah. Uh, nah. You guys got a lot of experience today. You guys got a lot of experience today. Uh, and um, next time we'll be meeting Severus at the tavern in the morning. And you'll... He's in... <laughs> That's what I should have done. Oh man, he's actually having a fight with himself. That's that's the thing. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and uh, next time we'll have a port map, and we will deal with the mission. The mission again, just to remind you guys, and I'll mention it again at the beginning of next time is it's um. About chocolate starfish, right? No, 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 no. <sighs> it is not that. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> he's asked you to acquire a rainbow colored starfish <laughs> the next person that refers to it as a chocolate starfish will lose a level <laughs> a full so, level so stop is brown, is brown a color in the rainbow <laughs> that's a level <laughs> the elevator's going down a level that's it oh yeah, my god can I take the XP that he loses <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, I just right absorb. Now. Stop it. Yeah, dude, we're like Zerg, Can we right? If we kill all each all other. Right, you can't funnel it. <laughs> the power, friend. The, fu the funnel strat. Oh. The funnel strat. One person just. I'm done. We're the, the session's over. Goodbye. The session's over. That's it. <laughs>